Hello guys, this is YouTube and uh, this is going to be a Darkest Dungeon 2 Let's Play series. We just had a new update, the Altar of Hope update. And uh, with uh, this update I decided uh, this is something I would like to do. My goals for um, this series is to have fun first and foremost and I really enjoy the game. I really like it a lot and I also like to hear myself talk so I guess uh, this goal will be pretty easy to achieve. I would also like to help other people learn more about the game while also improving myself. So I think that uh, explaining my thought process out loud will help me achieve both of those things. And uh, one other goal, one minor goal of this series, is uh, to actually spread awareness that the uh, Grave Robber is actually a pretty good hero. And uh, I don't mean uh, that this is possible and that you, you can win the game with her, I mean that she's actually pretty good. And uh, this is something we will uh, see a lot throughout the series because I tend uh, to pick Grave Robber a lot. Obviously we will not pick her every time, but uh, you will see her a lot in my runs and I will, I will help you see the light. So yeah, let's, uh, let's begin. Yeah, let's see the intro. The intro is nice, why not? Yes, hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, we don't need the other tutorials. Drift in this by two minutes nightmare. We will be mainly playing a resentment once we unlock it, but uh, there will be probably a couple of denial uh, runs uh, here and there. Yeah, yeah. I remember our first meeting on the steps of the university. A collegial handshake that would doom us both. Your insightful questions during my lectures gave me pause. And I recognized in you something of a kindred spirit. Despite our differences in age and position, we shared a keen fascination for archaeology, folklore, and, of course, occultism. The crossroads, a place between places. Okay, so as you can see, basically this is like a fresh profile. I deleted uh, my previous one, so we only have uh, these four heroes unlocked, and uh, we only have their basic skills unlocked. So, and yeah, the first few runs will uh, hmm, will be harder. Let's see what we have here, however. 
Okay. Uh, okay, this creep guy is annoying, but uh, it's fine. I really like Ramazur. I really like Ramazur. Fragile though is very bad. Uh, but uh, we will remove it at the hospital uh, very early. Okay, this is actually pretty decent. Even though we will be mostly be using uh, poison dart, and uh, the damage uh, will not be very noticeable. Yeah, I also like uh, Peacemaker, like why not? So, this is the starter party, right? With all uh, the abilities locked and stuff. And I think that for this party, uh, we would like uh, to actually play Plague Doctor at rank 3. Uh, because uh, we would like to have the incision option for uh, enemies that have uh, high blight resistance, right? And. Uh, Grave Robber does not mind if she's uh, in rank 4 or rank uh, 3 or rank 2 that much with uh, the skills we have unlocked. Also, I guess Grave Robber is kinda weak with uh, out here abilities, so... The part I mentioned earlier about proving that uh, Grave Robber is, is uh, good and stuff, uh, we'll have to wait a little bit, I guess. And... Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's talk a little about uh, what we're going to unlock, I guess. So, the thing uh, is that uh, I'm not really a big fan of Dismas. Actually, before you attack me, <laughs> I'm not fan of Wanderer Dismas, okay? He has some pretty good paths, but uh, the base hero is uh, not that amazing. And since we need the uh, candles, uh, the new currency, currency to unlock uh, the paths, and uh, I will not focus on unlocking uh, his paths first. Uh, Highwayman is not a hero that we will be picking a lot for our first runs, right? So there is no point in unlocking uh, his uh, skills, even though point blank shot could help us a lot for this first uh, run. So we will not uh, unlock this. And we will also probably try to unlock Retribution, where is it? It's it's the, th it's the third uh, unlock, even though it seems uh, to be the second here. It's a very good skill. Even after the nerfed this patch, now it has a one turn cooldown. But I think uh, we really need uh, retribution on uh, mana arms and also, like uh, his uh, starter abilities are not that great. And what I mean by this is, uh, I don't play with defender that much. It's not uh, it's not bad, but uh, it's pretty nice, right? And I uh, also hold the line, I don't play with it that much outside like uh, something like the Harvest Child or uh, if I have a movement party or something, I don't uh, play with, with it that much. So his base kit is kind of underwhelming, I guess. Um, so yeah, when, uh, maybe we will try to go for Retribution. Maybe we will try to go for Plague Grenade. This is the second upgrade actually, the first one is the Vapors. And uh, we will be picking uh, Black Doctor, I guess, uh, an average amount of times. Uh, we don't tend to pick here a lot. We like uh, to play with uh, more unusual comps, I guess. And but uh, one thing is for certain: like uh, with uh, the heroes that we have available, we will uh, need something like a Black Grenade if uh, we are to face uh, the Tangle Boss, the General, right? Because we don't have many options to, uh, to hit uh, the back route while also doing decent damage with this uh, group. So, Plague Grenade is definitely an option. And uh, of course, we would like to unlock Dead of Night as soon as possible. This is uh, his first uh, unlock. It's a very good skill. It's one of the best skills in the game, in my opinion. Extremely strong. It enables, uh, you, it, it enables you to play without a stress healer or a healer. Uh, if uh, the rest of your party has similar abilities, I really like it. So yeah, that's uh, what we're playing and what our goal for unlocks is this early on. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, what you can expect uh, from uh, this series uh, while uh, we drive you through the valley, the I guess. 
I would say I'm pretty decent at the game. Uh, obviously, I'm not the best. Uh, I'm far from the best, I guess. Uh, but uh, we tend. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's that's a new thing again. Okay, ne never mind. Um. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not uh, the best, but I tend to win most of my runs. And so maybe you can pick something up, uh, like a new strategy or a way to deal uh, with things. Uh, I have a pretty deep knowledge about the game, I think. Okay, that, that's new too, actually. We have a trinket since now, I think it was only food before. Um, yeah, let's go for the trinket, why not? Crisis, no okay, I'm not the, the biggest fan of this trinket because mining speed is very bad. However, if your base speed is already low, it is passable, I guess, because uh, we expect mana at arms to act uh, second from last or last most fights, right? So it shouldn't matter that much. Uh, like I said, also I like uh, to play many unconventional comps, like, uh, for example, n no real healers like Black Doctor or Cultist, or uh, no Man at Arms or Jester for the stress heals. And I like to experiment a lot in general, so hopefully we can have some uh, unique and interesting runs. Okay, so the Horde is a new thing here as well, and uh, I guess we only have one stage coach upgrade, right? Oh, okay. Um, the truth is, uh, I really value the inventory space, so we're buying this for sure. But uh, what else can we buy? I mean, the cards is an option. It's not a bad option either. As for the combat items, uh, yeah, I think we're fine. Yeah, let's just get the cards and uh, let's continue. Also, uh, I am a little bit of a nerd, I guess you can say. Uh, there's no harm in admitting that and... Uh, I keep a spreadsheet, a really big spreadsheet, uh, where I keep uh, a lot of stats about my runs and that uh, we will keep referencing this spreadsheet a lot throughout the series, so maybe if you enjoy stats as well, then maybe you will find this enjoyable. I know I do. Like for example, uh, most of uh, these stats are pretty basic, right? Uh, like for example, uh, hero win rate, hero pick rate, path win rate, path pick rate, uh, like uh, what regions we tend to pick, uh, uh, what bosses we face when, what what region we face them in, and stuff like that. Like if we complete uh, a run deathless, or uh, if we die, what uh, killed us, we take some notes. And uh, also one stat, uh, but all these things are pretty objective so far, right? Uh, but uh, there is also one subjective stat uh, I like to keep. And this is uh, at, at the end of each run, I like uh, to keep track of what I consider to be the most valuable and least valuable hero per run, right? And this is pretty subjective, I suppose. So if any of you sticks around, uh, maybe I would love to see what you think as well. Because. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have to admit that I am biased, maybe, right? And maybe, for example, I think uh, Dismas is worse than he really is. Okay. So, the inn. Uh, the first thing I always like to do at the inn is to see my potential routes. Yes, ex ex exactly. Uh, we get the sluice. The sluice uh, for a first uh, region is extremely powerful and it's extremely powerful for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, getting a couple of masteries before you go to the first region, to the first real region is extremely strong because uh, it uh, 
might actually enable you to fight the Lerbos, right? With a comp that's not very good for it. It's very good. And also, it's uh, also nice to have some extra relics and bubbles. And uh, since the region is uh, so small in length compared to the other regions, you can afford uh, to to do interesting upgrades instead uh, of like uh, upgrading Bolter instantly that uh, is something that I would do with this party most of the time we can uh, choose the damage option instead because uh, we will not need uh, to heal stress I guess that much uh, like the whole region is like maybe 3 or 4 fights at most right so so what is our most important damage ability here I mean maybe we can even take uh, take aim um, It's a possibility. I mean, Dart isn't that bad, but all, a lot of enemies in this loose have uh, blight uh, resistance, have high blight resistance, so it's going to be a waste, so we're not picking that. And also, there is no real uh, reason to upgrade any of this on the Black Doctor, so it's either our friend Barristan or Dismas, and this is going to be Dismas. So, but the question is uh, do this advance or take aim? Yeah, let's say let's take him. Let's take him. Take him is good. Okay. Each oh, we have two of those. A new variable in the yeah, we we'll probably do that. Lose it on. Uh, okay, so for the gold went uh, down the drain, basically. But it's fine. It's fine. I would still do it. No, of course, I wouldn't do it if I knew we would lose one. But uh, I really like uh, this uh, stage coach upgrade. Okay, so let's get ready for the region and uh, let's uh, play some cards. Okay, dude. Yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't very lucky, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, also, we will not eat any food for the sluice uh, since uh, it's uh, so uh, fast. Oh, this is a new screen. Okay, we will uh, check this out mo more in depth uh, later. And I guess uh, that's it. We're good to go. Let's go. This loose. Abandoned waterways. Home now to far worse than rats. Tread carefully and quickly. This is swine country okay so we really like uh, creatures then even though it's risky this early we're still going yeah I think it's a very good node but it's uh, also very risky especially this early We'll probably be fine, come on. And also, I guess, a final thing uh, I would like uh, t to say about the series uh, is that each video will be a single run. Uh, and I understand that uh, this is a pretty long game, so maybe we will uh, cut down some stuff, like uh, some stagecoach uh, driving segment uh, or some other fluff uh, to try to compress uh, the actual dura duration without uh, sacrificing uh, Gameplay, but uh, we will see about that. Yeah, let's uh, let's go. So, I mean, uh, obviously we pick one of those, and uh, I guess we will have a positive relationship uh, as well, which is always good. Tried and tested, a bond to be counted on. Yeah, respectful is a, is a good one. Normally, I do not mind uh, having like uh, inseparable or amorous between uh, two characters that do not have any group utility. Like, for example, Dismas and Dondre. I don't mind having inseparable or amorous there because they can't cancel uh, 
your buffs or your heals, it's fine. But uh, for uh, mana terms, I would like to avoid, avoid those. So yeah, it being respectful uh, was a good thing. So, 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 so. Yeah, as you can see, this one has a high blight resist, so incision is better, right? Yeah, let's try to kill uh, the worms first. We will be killing the worms first because um, the worms uh, eat the corpses of the other mobs, right? And they get the buffs and uh, block tokens, and they are more annoying to deal with, so. Right, that's pretty nice. Yeah, getting a bit like there. I mean, uh, we could try the tracking shot, the one at uh, the behind, but uh, why do that uh, when uh, you can just uh, be lucky against the dodge token, right? Do we want this must to be up front? I don't think so. And this one also gives us uh, a block token. And they immobilize as well, but uh, we don't uh, really care in this particular fight. Okay, so yeah, let's striking shot. We could try to avoid the dodge, but uh, with the combo point uh, and the grave robber attacking, yeah, we can get a nice crit. It's a good time to move, I guess. As good as any. And also, since uh, we're doing nothing, uh, let's uh, defend. Yeah, exactly. We don't want uh, the dog uh, to fetch uh, Black Doctor to rank 2 again. So this will be enough. And now because we killed it, we get uh, uh, the remaining 3 of our heroes get a free turn basically. Because uh, those uh, enemies will not act on their first uh, turn. And uh, we will use uh, Flashing Daggers to remove uh, 2 tokens. It's a nice uh, use case, I guess. The, the skill itself is not very good, I think. I mean, we could also launch here, could we? What do you think? I mean, 15% is nothing, that's what I think. Okay, yeah. Like, if it was more like 30, we could consider it, yeah? A brilliant conclusion. I guess uh, this one will die from Mondry, so we could take aim even again. Yeah, let's uh, let's take aim. A righteous action. Stumbling and stupefied. Okay, so both of these types of spiders, both of uh, the spiders are pretty annoying in general. Uh, but I think uh, the blight spiders are actually worse because uh, they can stack a lot of blight on you. And uh, the stun is annoying, yeah, but at least uh, it will not uh, wreck uh, your HP, right? Yeah, the reason we attacked here is because we planned uh, to kill this one with Dismas. I think this should be enough. I mean, this should be enough too. But we want to stay at rank 2, so... I guess we will try to remove uh, the... the dodge here. Okay, we're getting laggy. Good. Like, I, I would swear that uh, the 50% is uh, not 50% actually because I always miss, but uh, we are already getting pretty lucky here. 
Okay, this is actually a very nice disease to have. We will not cure this one. Uh, because it gives us a chance to get the dodge token, which is always good. And... Uh, okay, going forward is uh, not very good in this comp, because we cannot use... Uh, Battlefield Medicine from rank 2. But uh, we don't mind going back, so... The downside uh, is not uh, a really big deal most of the time, right? So we will keep this one. Um, I guess... Yeah, I guess we can do this, like, uh... <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, l let's try to kill. Let's try to kill. Excellent. So yeah, this went uh, much better than expected, to be honest. Like, uh, of course, uh, I knew that we would probably be fine, but uh, our life totals are looking uh, very good. And also our stress, like, uh, we only took one damage or something. Yeah. Okay, the thing here is uh, that I really like academic studies, personally. I also like uh, the cultists though, and uh, I guess we're doing the cultist. Why? Because uh, all our heroes will want uh, to fight or they will have to say nothing. So it's very easy to farm uh, relationships with uh, early cultists. And uh, w when, when you know how to deal with them, uh, it's not really a big deal, right? The base cultist fights. At least most comps. The infinite emptiness of the void. Okay, eh, we would have uh, loved uh, to get uh, more people to want to fight, but it is what it is. Yeah, for example, this comp is very good for us, actually. Why is that? Because after we kill uh, both ev evangelists over here, then uh, we, we can stall because uh, those uh, are harmless at the front ranks. So if we get a lot of stress, we can just uh, pass some turns and uh, do s a, f a couple of bolsters, and we will be fine, right? Yeah, that's always a nice one to fight. So. Actually, let's try to kill this one. Though we waste the strength token, but what can you do? I mean, we could also advance. Yeah, let's advance. Let's see. Yeah, just for the re repost. of the unprepared. I mean, we could also tracking it, but uh, let's not. Okay, so, so so we maybe we could defend instead here. Like, what's uh, his HP total? It's 19. It will be 16, and then we can hit for like 12. So we should probably crash instead. Yeah, okay. Hey, we don't mind that much. Actually, if we tracking shoot, we can probably kill this one this turn. Is that good? Yeah, I think so. And also with uh, the combo point, uh, we might crit and remove some stress. Yeah, seems good. I mean, hmm. what about the? Blinding us, what do you think about that? 
No. Okay, let's try to remove uh, a token, I guess. Yeah, excellent, exactly. We healed uh, some stress as well. You are not guaranteed to heal stress, so that was nice. Okay, so with this one we have the chance to kill it, but uh, I guess we would rather kill it with blight if possible, so we can throw a heal. Yeah, if the blight sticks, we are healing someone. But uh, we can't actually, I didn't check uh, the totals. Uh, both of them have 50%, which is uh, kind of unlucky, because this, this would heal if any one of those two had one more uh, point of damage. Ah, whatever. So, the blood dagger was wrong then, we should have uh, tried uh, to kill it, I guess. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. Now this trinket is something that we will not be using, so we can just discard it. We want our Plague Doctor to be contributing to damage uh, with uh, this comp. Uh, let's give this one uh, to Byron actually because uh, he's the slowest and uh, if someone gets blighted uh, he can uh, or, or uh, any dot actually we can remove it before uh, the next uh, round starts if we want to right there is a problem however and that problem is that uh, we didn't get a mastery point yet and we really need one, we really need bolster. Usually I expect to get uh, f one to three mastery points from uh, the sluice. Okay. Hmm. I mean, we're, we're fighting for sure, but... Uh, okay, I guess... Uh, let's pick Condre. Let's try to get a couple of good relationships going first and then try to equalize uh, the positive pips. Yeah, let's remove two tokens. I mean, should we do that? What do you think? What do you think? I think that uh, we want to kill this one fast. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, why is it correct? We want to kill this one fast because it tends to cause a lot of stress if uh, you let him alive, right? To two, to two heroes. So maybe flashing daggers is not the right approach. But it also has high blight resist. Uh, yeah, let's hope. Yes, okay, let's hope we get lucky. I mean, uh, two blight is not even a lot, so it might not even make any difference. But uh, okay, the fact that they moved us is not nice. We would uh, have liked uh, to use incision instead. But yeah, we will go all in on damage on this one, because uh, we don't want uh, the stress damage. Okay, one more, and then we can start uh, doing other things with Andre instead of uh, throwing boss with that here. I mean, okay, so he should have eight. Yeah, we didn't expect Bison to hit for eight, so yeah, let's uh, let's do this. I was thinking about maybe using a blinding gas instead. And also. We cannot hit uh, 
8 damage anyway with this one, we could with crash but uh, since they, mo they moved us we can only do something like 3 which is not the best nice I mean, I probably would rather uh, have the dodge chance instead of uh, removing uh, the enemy's dodge because our uh, dismas is getting low. Yeah, come on. Oh, also it's round 3, yeah, this would expire. Okay, I didn't even uh, consider that, let's be honest. Should we even defend here? Yeah, let's, let's defend. Let's defend uh, Audrey. Excellent. Alright, we really need a master point here, please. Yes, okay, we're good. However, this is a trinket uh, that we will not be using either. I really don't like a trinket that remove your crit chance because uh, with crits you, you tend uh, to heal some stress and I consider uh, the potential to heal stress uh, to be more important uh, than uh, having a little bit more maximum life. So, yeah, this time we will uh, try to blind those. I mean, we have the option to use bolster here, but I will actually pass for now. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of an upgraded bolster. I mean, it's 50-50. We can kill this one like this. What about if we use the dagger? Okay, this one is much better for sure. Hope for the best and achieve the worst. Excellent. I mean, we could have killed this one if we attacked with Dismas to do 9 crit, but uh, we went uh, for the high roll, I guess. Okay, very nice, very nice. Now let's get down with this. Alright, that's also very good. Tried and tested. Above and it's also respectful, which is something we really, we really like to see. Instead of Amorous and Inseparable between those two. I mean, we could even pick here. What's the damage range is? Yeah, this uh, actually this has a higher crit chance. Though. Uh, 
Um, let's try for for this one and uh, a laurel. Okay, let's heal actually. A little help, impeccably timed. I mean, honestly, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that uh, that move, but it is what it is now. Let's kill uh, Barristan this time. This should be like uh, the last fight we have in this loose. It would be nice uh, if we could uh, remove uh, some more uh, stress. But uh, that's not happening. Alright. And uh, since uh, our uh, speed is already zero, we will uh, equip this one as well. And this one can uh, go fuck itself. What about uh, the corpse clear? I mean, hmm. let's put it on one of our, of our fast heroes. So let's give it to Andre. And let's uh, give this to Dismas. Okay. Like, uh, we haven't uh, gotten to our first real. Okay, this is uh, horrendous. Uh, to the first real region, but we already have uh, two good relationships. So, this was was worth it, and we also got uh, one mastery point. And our stress levels are uh, are fine. For the most part, right? We can fix them. They are not perfect. The familiar heart crackles invitingly once again. Okay, that's very good. That's pretty good as well. That's whatever. Uh, we're not going to go to the shroud with this group with these abilities unlocked. Forget that. And uh, you hit uh, the this one, so we have a uh, double light sensitive, I think, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I guess uh, we will have to manage our thoughts in a way that uh, ensures that we stay below 75, but not too low. So as we did before, first we will see our choices. Every role Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't like either of these for uh, this run. Um, because as uh, we talked about earlier, I don't think we can deal with the general. Unfortunately, I, w I would prefer to see either Fighter or the Sprawl because I think we can take the bosses. But okay, so we can get uh, counter re rewards from quests. That's, that's fine. I guess. Avoid the watchtower. Yeah, that's, that should be pretty easy. Yeah, we're doing the the tangle, right? Okay, wait a second. What is it? Uh, what's the quest again? Avoid the hoarder. Ah, uh, that should be pretty easy to do as well. Do we have? Uh, we have this quick, right? So there's a good chance to get. Uh, Dodge plus, which is good. Should we go to the shroud? <laughs> I know I said we would probably don't, don't go there, but uh, I also think that uh, we might have some trouble in the tangle as well with some of the comps. Since, uh, le for example, three footmen and uh, drummer. How do we kill the drummer with this comp? Hmm. 
Yeah, but this route is this route. Okay, yeah, let's go this route. Whatever. Oh, also, we have two mastery points. Yeah, of course, we got one bonus uh, from the creatures then. I completely disregarded that. So, bolster for sure. And then what? I mean, probably... Let's be honest. I think the most useful ability is probably going to be like uh, Duelist Advance. Yeah, let, let, let's upgrade this one. Let's upgrade uh, this one. And uh, let's see if there's I anything good that we can buy. For wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever Okay, those are very cheap now. I will buy a bunch of those. We will see. I mean, look at this. This is insane value. Because we went out uh, to the creatures then and we get a discount. And also a good in that uh, only heals to 50% apparently. Which is uh, a new thing uh, with this patch. Still should be fine. I mean, uh, a couple of glimmers is probably good as well. Maybe cow drops. They stack to. Th oh no, they don't stack to three, never mind. I also like antidotes for the exemplar fight, but it's too early for that. Maybe we will buy those. And uh, what is this? Hilton percent. I mean, sure. Uh, let's buy like everything. Since it's so cheap. A of comfort on the road to yeah, I don't know about this though. I mean, why not? We, what's our uh, stress uh, looking like? Okay. So we need to buy some of those. How many? Four. Three. Okay. And maybe we can get some of those to heal a bit since they only cost one. How much heal do we need? I mean maybe to here, to here and like to here. Yeah, let's do it like that so let's get uh, six of those. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Oops. Actually, let's buy them all. They only cost one. Like, and let's get uh, three of those. I mean, that should be enough. We bought a lot of stuff. And uh, let's see now, really quick. Uh, also, where's the food? He doesn't sell food? Ugh. Yeah, that's not nice. And the last one goes to Andre. So who needs the food? Probably our two backliners. Yeah, semi good. Oh, we could have used the pipe grid instead. Um, is there anyone um, we can push to a positive relationship? No, okay, so we will probably keep that one. Mm. Uh, bleed resist is good against uh, the sprout, right? Okay, so let's uh, give to Barrison and let's give both to Barrison also. As for the, the disease, uh, it's also good against uh, the sprout because of the babies, so who is going to take it? going to be Barrison again, actually. What about the move resist? Probably on uh, my friend, uh, the Black Doctor. So now it's 60-60 is good enough. Uh, we will keep uh, the Blight resist for later, and I guess we're keeping that now. Um, what about uh, the items real quick? 
let's give this mass uh, two of those and also give a uh, grave robber one mm -hmm. yeah, that seems good enough our inventory space isn't looking that great also Each I guess we're discarding this a new variable in the equation of your fate and yeah, that's all that's all we'll that uh, we will do here okay what what's happening here Wonder path hero selected and bonus scope if they survived the first in past the valley. Okay, that's uh, free Kansas basically. And also we get more for this loss, okay. Alright, let us uh, proceed. Let's go to the shroud. The barnacled timbers of the coastal villages are sodden with salt and secrets. Propriety floats listless on the tide, brined in noxious degradation. Okay, so the shroud. Let's see what our uh, preferred uh, route is going to be. So I guess uh, we're going to pick this route. We don't. Actually, I don't know about that. Since we don't care that much about the lair, we really care about the shrines instead. So we should get the watchtower, just in case we can find a second shrine, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we're going to go that way then. I guess uh, our focus will be on unlocking What's abilities first and foremost, and. At least it should be. Everything else comes second. Outside of uh, black layers, I guess. Actually, the bandits could be pretty good. Wait a second. Yeah, uh, never mind the course clear. Okay, also the sad music is excellent, right? Let's go. Jesus Christ, dude. For our first match of our first real region, look at this. This is uh, horrible. Like, I think I, I will even use... Yeah, actually, we're using this for sure. Just uh, so they have less speed and we might kill them. And I think, uh, what about uh, the take aim, though? What about the take aim? Yeah, okay, I guess this will kill one on its own. I'm actually going to use a second one. Maybe it's a bit wasteful, but uh, I really hate uh, this uh, mass of enemies. What's the reply to resistance? It's 30. Huh? Okay, is anything uh, that... Uh, okay, this one has minus 4. Um, I guess our goal is to try to kill all these, but I don't see it happening. I guess this must can kill one on his own, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's go for this then. Yeah, of course they also heal, I think. I'm pretty sure actually. Where is the heal? Did they remove this? Hmm. Okay, then maybe we can uh, do fine. Actually... Yeah, let's go for this one. Might be a mistake, we will see. Yeah, you see, they heal sometimes. I thought uh, they healed every time. Hmm. Okay, actually, maybe this one. Why? So that this must can kill it. But uh, I think it does eight. It does nine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're good then. 
Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. Yeah, what about this? I don't think uh basically we are not going to need uh all this damage to kill this one, so let's try yeah exactly good. Is there a reason to defend here? I mean, we might actually kill it. What am I talking about? Okay, what the fuck? Actually, those uh, cult troops were pretty good. Yeah, I don't regret uh, using them. And we got more, so let's uh, use the same uh, setup. Good enough, good enough. Like uh, two of uh, Mana Tarm's relationships are fine, so we can deal with one inseparably, I guess. It should be fine. Uh, we're going to blind those because. This one is annoying, right? This one is too if it's uh, on the rank 4, but it isn't. And I guess I will be trying to kill this one first, yes? Okay. I mean, we could wait for this one to expire, maybe. Probably not. Yeah, let's, let's striking shoot. I mean, we could kill this one. I'm. Oh no, we couldn't. Uh, never mind. Unless. No. We could remove this, and we will. This First of all, also, I would like to kill the dog, actually. That's a waste, this one will die anyways. I mean, we could undo this. Yeah. Let's try to fish for a crit. Yeah. 
And the reason we hold the line there is for the block, even though he will not act, I guess, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess we really need that to unlock some trinkets as well, so we don't get offered uh, trust like this all the time. Okay, so two, two shrines then. It's good enough. Let us temper this world's cruelty just a little. Okay, that's not uh, a nice mess either. Let's, uh, let's do the same. Let's use at least one of those so they are slower. We definitely want to kill this, but uh, we also want to kill this. Yeah, those uh, weak tokens are really annoying, man. Yeah, those cause bleed, so the bleed resist is uh, pretty handy here. Please don't get dodged. Okay. I mean, since this one uh, has gotten dodged, then uh, we will remove the dodge from this one. So we can use this mass to kill this at least, right? Or uh, to heavily damage it, I guess. What's the damage here? It's 9, here is 9 again. And we also get the repost and stuff, so. I guess uh, there's no way we're killing this, let's be honest. Uh, we will need uh, to hit for 3. And here we will need to hit for 2 and for 1. And blight. I think our best chance is this. Yeah. A promising development. I guess we're killing this one. Now, as uh, we mentioned earlier, this one can cause disease now. The, it will attack and uh, it might cause uh, disease, so... Let's hope uh, it targets uh, Barrison. Or maybe even uh, our Black Doctor. Yeah, okay. Yes, perfect. Okay. Really nice, and I guess uh, we will heal. Why not, right? Yeah, we don't mind that much. This is uh, 4 to 8, this is 4 to 6, and we would like to kill it this round, so... Excellent! I mean, it's pretty early in the region, but we're doing fine. Uh, it seems uh, pretty doable. The thing is, what uh, we're going to unlock, and probably flag grenade, since we get uh, two shrines here. 
If uh, it was free, we could have went uh, for uh, retribution, but uh, I guess I would rather have uh, the grenade in case we go to the tank later. I mean, of course, uh, we're going to take uh, some loot and flame. I would like uh, to go to the cast, but we can't, unfortunately. And uh, do we want the double fight? That's the question. It's a good question. I guess we do, right? Yeah. I mean, there's not, there's no reason not to fight. Since uh, we are in such a good state at the moment. Look at this light sensitive bullshit to the right. Are we going to waste on cult troops? Yes, we are. Okay, at least this one uh, has been dealt with. Steady yourself. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. We can also we can always uh, hold the line. So that's the reason uh, we used uh, uh, the movement resistance item on uh, our plague doctor. So. All right, we get the fog. So take aim was bad here, because uh, we have to expect that we will be getting a fog in this region. That was not very clever. But uh, this master doesn't care about that. No. All right. Excellent. Yeah, the, the relationships are uh, already helping a lot. You love to see it. Okay, so we need the one item for uh, this mess. And uh, we don't want to waste the smoke bombs yet, so I guess maybe bandage. Okay, so I really like this option that we give relics. I usually pick it a lot. Uh, I prefer the other one that uh, you only waste uh, 6 relics, but even 12 re relics is not that much. So we're picking one of these. And I guess it depends on Baristan. Uh, we would like to repair uh, the relationship uh, with Dismas. So. Okay. Assets of the same stone, never one without the other. Yeah, you see, we get a lot of supplies for just our 12 relics, it's good. Uh, let's uh, check out our relationships a little bit. Okay, so we only miss two relationships. That's fine. What about the speed, though? Who wants the speed? That's really the question. Okay, definitely 
definitely not this much because he gets a speed token from a tech aim. So it's either the Paracelsus or Andri. And I guess it's a Paracelsus. For now, at least. Oh, we will miss uh, the reward because we have to visit the hoarder. Eh, whatever. It's uh, just one candle. Should be fine. Okay, this mass uh, is annoying too. Like everything in the shroud, I guess. So, what do we do here? I guess uh, we want to slowly kill the back line while uh, the rest deal with the front line so because we don't have any corpse clearing abilities and we will be stuck if there is one with full HP at the back now blinding us is good if it works, let's see yeah, good enough and also, okay, it actually work um, we mentioned that we do not want to take aim yet so Probably one of those two. Why? Because uh, Paracelsus can uh, hit the, fr the first two ranks, but he can't uh, hit rank three at the moment. So. Yeah, it's kind of weird that you can uh, repost uh, through the stun. Okay, there we go. Inseparable things. I guess uh, we will try to kill this then. And fail. Flashing Dagris is a good option here. Okay, so that's why he stopped the bolster, I guess, because he knew he could do better. Yeah, we got the resist this time. Yeah, I guess uh, upgrading class instead of dueling advance could have worked here as well because we have double damage thing it on uh, our barista and you see that uh, he hits uh, pretty hard, right? For a mana terms already. Okay, let's blind. It's over. So blinding was not good then. We should have uh, hit a corpse, maybe just in case we crit, so we can heal some stress. Okay, we need to discard something here though, and I guess I don't uh, want uh, to carry too many too many molds at the moment because even in the next region we will probably lose a lot, right? Okay, so what do we unlock? <sighs> okay, it's never uh, this much. It's never this much. We know that. I guess it's also it's also not Baristan because we need three shrines. Three shrines is a lot. Even though upgrading one would uh, give us Bellow, and I, I really like Bellow. So it's either it's either one of these two. 
And the run is going fine, we have too many good relationships, so maybe we don't really need Dead of Night yet. So yeah, let's go for uh, the Black Doctor instead. To unlock a Black Grenade. With our second strand. Hey, Doctor. Chapter 1. The Good Student. Brilliant and bold, her unconventional theories created nothing short of a scandal in her fourth year. The mocking whispers and scornful glares of her peers and professors had an ironically invigorating effect upon her extracurricular experiments. The mysteries of the human body, of life and death itself, hovered just beyond her scalpel's reach. If only she could acquire a corpse of sufficient freshness. So, I really like the backstories for uh, most of the characters, but uh, the Black Doctor one is not one of my favorites, I would say. I guess uh, we equip Emboldening Vapors here. Not because we will be using it a lot, but let's uh, imagine a scenario where we are blinded and uh, we still want uh, to contribute uh, to damage. I guess Emboldening Vapors can be useful there, right? While uh, we are almost never going to want uh, to press uh, Ounce. However, this is a perfect scenario where we want uh, to blind because this one is very dangerous in rank 4. It can stun our front rank and... Uh, oh yeah, I don't have those unlocked. Never mind them. And we also do not have an ability that can uh, move uh, the enemies around with this combat at the moment. I mean, we do have Rampart, but uh, we can't use it uh, to deal with rank 4 in any way. Yeah, exactly. This is uh, the other ability I was talking about. Let's uh, see it real quick. Yeah, you can only use it from rank 4, and uh, it stresses you. And does, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but uh, I don't want the stress. No. I guess we hold the line here again, right? Against what though? I mean, maybe we can kill this. It's a pretty good chance. Never lucky. I don't really want to use a bandage, I think. What do you say? I mean, what are you saving it for? Maybe for the cultists? Or for the... I mean... Let's use it. We should have used it in the previous round, I guess. Okay, excellent. But if I knew that uh, Plank Doctor would uh, heal us, uh, I wouldn't have uh, used the banners. But uh, we already have a lot of uh, combat items, so we should start uh, using some, so we don't end up uh, throw them, throwing them out, right? I guess he will stun now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this one is only from rank 4. As well. Okay, so no fog this time. Extinguished at last. I mean, this one will die, and if we crit it, 
and then dies then uh, we get uh, no stress heal so we, we might as well uh, hit the corpse just in case which is kind of lame to be honest I don't like uh, that uh, hitting the corpse is a good move sometimes I mean okay sometimes uh, if you want to read someone that is in the back in the back ranks and you kill the corpse yeah that makes sense but uh, hitting it uh, to gain the stress heal I don't like it but it's an option anyway the crit uh, trinket is something we want to use and we want to use it I guess on Andre Yeah, our inventory is pretty limited, even with uh, the item. And I saw some uh, of uh, the upgrades that we will be unlocking after this first run uh, have to do with inventory space and stuff, and we are probably picking it. Uh, the upgrade in question. What is this? If serrated item is equipped. What is a serrated item? Oh, there you go. Okay, interesting enough. Uh, we don't want to buy anything here. I mean, uh, we want to get the pipe with, for sure. We don't want this, we don't care anymore, we don't want this. Uh, we don't really care about this. We could get uh, some stress healing items, however... Our inventory space is not good, so never mind that. Yeah, we will have to start uh, discarding things right now. First of all... Hmm. I guess we don't need so many medicinal herbs for starters and uh, let's get uh, some of the cal troops I mean just one yeah. just one so we can uh, have like two equipped and uh, our gold is not uh, in a great spot at the moment so It's not a bit wasteful, I guess. What? Oh, we came to the lair. I, there is no way we're fighting the boss, but uh, we might uh, do both of uh, the previous fights for uh, so we get the more resources. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, th this is one case uh, that. Uh, Tarantism kind of fucked us because uh, now we can't uh, try to blind and uh, that's what I wanted to do here I mean this one only has 10% blind resistance so we will blind instead I know we have uh, been using incision for most of the run How do we still have so much flame? Like? I think we have been uh, through half the region already, right? I think that we want to move it so we can uh, try to blind next turn instead of using TKM. And also, we are saving TKM in case uh, we get the fog, right? Which I think is a good uh, plan. Okay, or maybe even this. So what's the plan here? This will die, right? Yeah, of course we blind them. At least we try to, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. But we didn't get the stress damage, so we'll find actually. Now is the question. I don't know uh, if I want to hit into the dodge, but it's not like we have uh, any options to deal with the dodge, I mean. 
And also, at least this way, we get uh, the block uh, talking as well. What's the situation here? Yeah, it's fine. Let's heal a little bit. I guess uh, we will heal both in time. Okay, uh, we will use Rampart here. Why? Because uh, it has a chance to daze the target. And uh, yeah, with the daze uh, we ensure that uh, we move before the dog. So basically he will not damage us. Now let's, uh, let's remove the dot. And uh, this is another case of what we were talking about, like we will hit the corpse again and it's a guaranteed critical and we might hit stress, yes. But if we hit the dog, the fight would end immediately, so we wouldn't hit stress. And it's lame, in my opinion. Abandoned or forgotten. Okay. It is ours now. What about this trinket? Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, but I guess we can use it uh, here. Uh, we need to discard something again. Do we really need so many of these? Actually, we will, we will uh, discard the move resist because there is no way we are coming back to this shroud after uh, after this, and uh, this is uh, mostly useful in this shroud compared uh, to the rest of the regions, in my opinion. Steal yourself. Okay. The hulking horror inside will not fall easily. Actually, there is a chance that we only, fi oh, we only take uh, the first wave over here instead of the second because uh, I don't know how our, our party will uh, look like after this. I will, mm, let's blind, let's blind. Because uh, let's uh, imagine a scenario where we don't manage to kill this. We would like uh, to have a chance to dodge each attack that might give us a disease, right? Because uh, some of the diseases are uh, really bad, so that's uh, the logic behind our move. Actually, since it uh, didn't get uh, block or dodge, that means we can kill it easily, so... But in any case, yeah, I think uh, trying to blind uh, is probably a good play. What's the plan now? I mean, we could try to kill it like this, but we can't. We would prefer to kill it in one shot, okay. What about Rampart? Not the biggest fan right now. This one uh, can stack bleed. So maybe this is uh, this would be our target, yeah. I mean, uh, those who are annoying as well, but... Yeah, it always uh, sucks when uh, your uh, Noxious Blast is resisted, which is one of uh, the main reasons that uh, we have been using the Incision so much in comparison so far. And that's why we put uh, Black Doctor in rank 3, right? Yeah, we talked about this. Let's hold the line against this. Oh, we can't even hit rank 3, what am I talking about? Never mind. Okay. Oh, we only got a double blind. We'll let him take uh, some uh, more damage. Since we are blinded, 
I mean, actually, is there any reason to use vapors here? Yeah. Like, that's the scenario we talked about earlier, right? Like, if we are blinded, uh, Vapors has a use case, while Lounge is, uh, is not that great. Um, yeah, of course. It's fine. It was expected. I think uh, Barisan can finish uh, this on his own. So, if that is correct... Let's daze this one. Actually, what am I talking about? Uh, his enemies right now. Is there a chance to kill it? No. Okay. Vapors has a cooldown, but now we can kill. Calculated generosity. What a welcome one, nonetheless. I mean, getting at the dodge here would be nice. Yeah. Just in case he decides uh, to attack here. Exactly. And let's heal. Okay, we are not in a bad state. We could take common more for these rewards. I mean, uh, smoke bombs are good, yeah. We will keep the smoke bombs and uh, maybe use some what, before we leave the region, but uh, this is a docker. And docker is hard, actually. Okay, maybe it was not a good the decision to take a second fight just for the smoke bomb. Okay, so honestly, let's use uh, a breakthrough. some cow troops. They change the name. Okay, some crowds feed them, and we slowly will try to kill uh, the fishmonger because uh, this one is very dangerous. Well, it takes uh, two turns per round. It's annoying. It creates a lot, a lot of stress. I hate it. I mean, are we going to leave the docker for last? It seems that way. We could have also used tracking shot, I guess, but... Uh, actually, maybe that was the play. Okay, we are lucky, because that uh, hits very hard. Extremely hard, it's a very big problem, Hullbreaker. I mean, why not heal? We can't kill this one anyway yet. Okay, this fight is... Uh It's a little bit of a mess right now because uh, we are attacking all over the place. What a welcome one, nonetheless. Steady yourself. Maybe going for this one was uh, a mistake. Why is that? Because he gets that dodge. But uh, we have to kill the yeah, so Should we use a second one of these? No. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Excellent work. Okay, look at this.
this is the power of uh, our friend the docker. Um, Bolson is an option, but uh, actually, we don't really mind this being rank one. I guess we can't use uh, the poison dagger. Hmm. Actually, let's hold the line here. The Leviathan's breath thickens the air. Okay. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Uh, okay, there's a chance uh, we hit for six here, so. Okay, that wasn't that bad actually. But of course uh, he was weak and stuff. Okay, so this one is... Uh, stealth. This one will die. Maybe that was uh, a little bit of a waste, but what can you do? Well done. Hello? Can you die? Hmm. Yeah, we really don't want uh, the docker to get another turn, so... Let's hope uh, the dot uh, finishes the job. Yeah, okay, we're good then. Let's see what uh, he would have dropped for us. Yeah, okay, this is one of my favorite trophies. It's very good, and it's very strong, it's very fun as well. I love this one. What is this? If Yeah, 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 never mind. So nothing really good, and, uh, except for the trophy, which is not good for our comp either, so... Of course we would not fight uh, Leviathan on our first region, but... Uh, variables align themselves against you. It is wise to desist. Okay, so... So, so, so... What's the plan here? We need one item for the Plague Doctor. Do we need the healing item? I mean, okay, let's uh, remove one of the herbs and uh, let's uh, put the healing item. Also, I guess we will remove. Uh, we, I don't know if we will remove this also. We want this also. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's discard uh, this for starters, and also probably unpopular, but I will discard all the bubbles as well. Since we don't have any good trinkets unlocked, I guess, and our inventory space is extremely limited, and uh, now that uh, gives us two spots instead of stopping all the time. The dark thought choked once again with the repellent stench of rotting fish. Okay. Let's think. We really, we want to kill this one again, right? But uh, I guess a blinding is uh, is always good here. It's never bad. Take him. Slow 
dissection. An unavoidable end. I mean, we just need the, the hit for three, right? And get the blight. Yeah, okay. We're good. Okay, so we really want to kill this one, so this may seem like a waste, but uh, we should start uh, chipping it down. Okay. Let's finish it. With the help of the dot, of course. This one should die. I mean, we could heal. How do you feel about the heal? And as we already decided that we are going for uh, the plug uh, grenade. Chapter 2 Head of the class. The professor was a relic, hacking and wheezing his way through a hopelessly conventional curriculum. So yeah, that's how you win this one basically. You wait uh, for his conclusion and then you rebuild. And uh, he's dying. I mean, look at his... The absolute state of this professor with uh, all dirty with blood and stuff. Okay, let's uh, finish this. Okay, poor professor. She delighted in the combative debate, and behind her bookish glasses, reveled in their outrage and confusion. 
Alright. He's holding. Okay. What's the plan now? The plan is probably to remove the vapors. Right. I mean, we have two choices. We either remove the vapors or we move the blast. So we will remove the vapors. Because we would like to have an option if we get pushed out to rank 4. How is our inventory looking? It's looking fine. Okay, we're almost done with the region. This uh, was a pretty long one. For masteries, I guess uh, we will get uh, from uh, the cult fights as well. It's good enough. I mean, this one is only really dangerous in uh, rank 4, so we don't really care. We will kill him last. I mean, when we need to hit a four here. Uh -huh. A simple variable, easily resolved. Nice one. Yeah, we're definitely upgrading Kras uh, next in. I mean, he's pretty much dead, so we will hit a corpse again. Just in case we crit. In the extreme, this work is noble. Yeah, we're going to equip uh, this trinket as well. Um, I think on uh, our uh, plug doctor, so this will live, and I guess we're gonna use it on uh, the grave robber, and we're good to go. Also, we should equip uh, since uh, the next fight is the last. Let's see, maybe it's time to use uh, some smoke bombs. Why not? We have uh, too many of them. The helps are fine, this is fine. Okay, what about uh, the torch level? I mean, since we have a double light sensitive quick, we don't really want uh, to have uh, too much torch, maybe. Yeah, see, this is uh, this is one of my favorite options. Though we, we will have to discard a lot of uh, items. Your coach is laden. You but for 6 gold, uh, it's pretty valuable. We don't need this anymore. Oh, 21, okay. We have gotten one bonus in true space out of nowhere, so I'm guessing this is something to do with the patch. Hey, we can keep that for now. But we are probably discarding it after this fight. So I saw that they changed uh, the Guardian node as well. And now it's only one single fight. And there is no Deacon. And to be honest... 
I don't... I'm not a big fan of this so far because this fight is too easy, right? Like, uh, this is very similar to the fight we took uh, in the sluice. Actually, let's uh, blind this one. Eek. But yeah, it's very similar to like one of our first fights in the sluice and we crashed it, so th basically there is no difficulty here. So, I don't know, man. Not a big fan so far, but uh, I have to play more, right? To form a better opinion, a more informed opinion. Now, we could uh, blind actually. Let's do that. Dude, uh, it only has like a 10% uh, resist, and it resists uh, both the item and the ability, like. That's very unlucky. Yeah, we really want uh, to kill this one because it deals uh, stress. And we don't really care about uh, the life damage. I mean, probably with the dart and the black grenade, uh, we should be in a good spot. This should die. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, let's, uh, let's bolster this one. I mean, this mask cannot uh, deal uh, 13 damage, so he will need some help. Let's use incision here. A breakthrough. And also, we cannot leave the altar for last. Because if the altar is last, it uh, will uh, kill itself and uh, deal uh, a lot of threat damage. And we don't want that to happen, so this will be dying third. A master stroke. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Yeah, we are uh, only doing this for the block. Like uh, we could have tried to hit this one too, but uh, since the ins uh, are not guaranteed uh, to heal you to full, uh, we would like uh, to conserve some health here, and uh, we will heal the, this one uh, next round. Hmm. Actually, let's use uh, an oxygen blast here. Uh, why? Because uh, it gives four blight. Which is uh, more than the three regen the altar gives. So even if uh, he gets more regen, then we can still check uh, death door, which is very good. Okay, what now? I mean, it doesn't matter much. Yeah.
Conquistion for the first region and uh, it also being uh, the Shroud, this has been uh, extremely smooth. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of the Okay, well that's very interesting. There's a good chance we are going to use uh, those two immediately. Actually, yeah, of course we are. Since we have nothing on Dismas and uh, the damage is good. Of course, he only has 18 health. <laughs> which might uh, prove to be a problem, but uh, we can uh, do stuff like uh, use Defender on him or uh, have a lot of. Uh, Dodge tokens, so yeah, I like it. Anyway, we need, uh, need uh, to discard uh, some more items. Hmm. Actually, this one, even if we go to the further, I don't really care about this one to be honest. So let's give, let's go like this. So we have uh, very fast heroes and uh, our slow poke over here. And uh, let's discard this. And probably the food, right? We will find food. Do we have a slot? F no. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's discard some food. Yeah, 5 mastery points for a region is not great, though. Like, usually we get, uh, like 8 or something. Okay, this doesn't heal you to full. It's fine. Okay, this is excellent, actually. It, it kinda makes me think that maybe we should uh, give, uh... The cultist trinkets to Barisan. Hmm. Whatever. And this is not nice, but uh, we have a lot of speed from the trinket. And uh, this is fine. We failed the quest. Wait a second. Did it show that we have uh, 5 loathing? No, no, that's uh, that's not possible. Never mind. So... Every road a winding path. Now this is an, an interesting Every choice. Turn. Bent on our destruction. First, let's see the effects. So we lose a lot of uh, flame, fine. And here we have a lot of resistance encounters. Okay. We also get candles. I guess uh, we will probably do the sprawl. We will probably do the sprawl. Even though we would uh, really like the Blight uh, chance uh, and Blight Damage trinkets uh, from uh, the lair boss here for our Plague Doctor, this pro also has some uh, good trinkets and uh, it also has uh, a very good trophy. And the boss is not hard. Actually, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, the, the resistance encounters are uh, harder here than in the Foyter, I think. I actually think this pro has uh, the second hardest. Uh, Resistance encounters in the game right after uh, the shroud. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing this brawl. First of all, Your coach must be maintained let's get some abilities. What will we need go. in this brawl? First of all, we will need crash for sure. One learns quickly when survival demands it. I mean, that's an option too. But uh, not yet. Over here we will need the poison dart to help us uh, with the librarian fight for sure. Absinthe is an option, but maybe later. Plug grenade, of course, is something uh, that we really want for the boss too. And what about Dismas? We don't really. Eh, Dismas is fine with what he has at the moment, so we have two more. We would probably like. I don't really care about the heal, to be honest. Don't you? Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, 
The difference is not that big, right? 20 to 25 percent. Uh, for most heroes, it will be like uh, two heal more. Who, who cares? I mean, of course, we will upgrade it at some point, but I don't think this point is now. Maybe now is the time to upgrade uh, one of his uh, single target abilities instead. Or maybe even uh, the dagger. Probably not the dagger. Actually, we will get the pistol shot. It will help us uh, with the boss as well. Even if it's uh, not uh, a big difference in damage. And it also has an, uh, the option to stun if uh, they have combo points. It's a nice option to have. I guess incision is an option though here. Let's get to that incision, yeah. It's gonna be fine. Okay, so let's hit our food. Also, I guess uh, it's a good time to use this one. Since uh, he will be having taunt with uh, the breacher. And uh, we have a lot of. Uh, burn damage in this uh, region. Also, what is with the Peewids? So, Ondre is the only one that uh, needs relationships, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, try to farm this one uh, very fast. Okay, Dark Curiosity is fine. It's, it's a good negative quirk, actually. Okay, so now we should have five, right? Yeah, it's good. And uh, let's see what we can buy. We don't care about these. I mean, we discarded uh, our bubble, so we don't care about this either. Actually, yeah, let's uh, let's finish with the relationship. Hmm. <laughs> Even more uh, smoke bombs. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, that's fine. Tried and tested. That's fine. A bomb to be counted on. Also, since our inventory space is limited, we are probably going to use this one as well, and it's going to be on Byerson. There are a, a couple of mobs that bleed here, and also if we go to the creatures then or the road battles and stuff, so... We will save those. For now. Is there anything else we're going to buy? Maybe some heal. Also, one of those not bad. Let's get another of these. Okay, never mind that. Yeah, now we have a uh, very good chance to resist. Okay. Do we need to heal? I mean, we could heal once. But for 12 uh, gold, that's a lot, man. Hmm. Let's, let's heal once. Actually, I didn't even check if we <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, we It gets blocked by the quirk and uh, I didn't check that. Yeah, that's not nice. Okay, let's give it to this one then. And finally, I mean, we only have 20 gold, we don't want to spend more. We spent more than enough already. Okay, so let's uh, fix our uh, combat items real quick and uh, let's proceed. So we could use a second one here. And I guess uh, we're saving this for the boss, but let's have one equipped. Yeah, this is fine actually, this is pretty good. So, yeah, let us commence. On to the sprawl. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. Behold, the great cities of man, ruined and aflame.
Okay, so like we said, uh, our main focus is uh, the hero shrines. Let's see if we can see any. Also the lair. It's uh, it's not good that uh, we cannot do the lair and the creatures then. Unfortunately, because uh, this would have given us uh, two candles as well from the quest. Okay, so I guess uh, we're going this way then. Like it doesn't give us an option. What? We have like uh, oh, only a couple options, and that's at the end. Why the hell is the loading full? Hmm. I thought we took a lot of fights uh, on the previous region. I guess not. That's, that's scary, I'm not gonna lie. Look upon their noble struggle and be humbled by it. Actually, it's one of these two because we want to fix the last relationship as well. And I guess it's this one. So the problem is that now we will have to fight the uh, cultists because of the loading. Okay, if it's an exemplar, we're uh, we're fucked basically. There's no other way to put it, right? I mean, of course, it's an example. I was hoping uh, maybe they would have changed that. So, what the hell are we doing here? Uh, does anyone have any idea? What's the plan here? Ah, I don't know, man. This is horrible. Not ways around it. Like this is very bad. A brilliant conclusion. At least we do have the uh, smoke bombs. Uh, we should have equipped more than just two. That's the reality of the situation. I guess the plan is to try to kill him. Because uh, we are never killing this uh, right now. We really needed uh, the miss. Come on, man. We don't even have a... Uh, retribution to try and tank a little bit. Okay, at least we resisted this. This was very important. Okay, now it's time to hope this works. Okay, so we will lead the exultation to the face. Oh. It's not good at all. This sucks. And we also, we don't even have Bellow to remove the repost. Let's see... He will probably put one of our heroes in death door or something. Okay, he actually didn't. And also the altar is not good here either, Jesus Christ, because uh, it will remain alive and it will suicide right after the battle. Even... Yeah, I mean, that's assuming we, uh, we killed the exemplar. Which we probably are going to kill him, but uh, you never know. Also, this one with 22 life is kinda scary. Do we want another post? I mean, we do, because uh, it gives a uh, dog token as well. Through. 
Okay, we need to make sure that um, not one of our heroes is at death door when we kill this. Everyone should be at least with some health because this might kill us. Okay, extremely lucky. There's nothing else to say. We were lucky here. I mean, whatever, right? Yeah, as you see, that was uh, <laughs> a lot of stress. However, for an exemplar fight, this was uh, surprisingly fine, right? It really wasn't that bad. I mean, yeah, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Maybe we want to change some trinket. Who am I kidding? What about the items? Yeah, let's uh, get some uh, smoke bombs. Yeah, that's uh, good enough. But I kind of wanted to add uh, the cow troops as well. What do you think about the cow troops? Yeah, let's, uh, let's put the cow troops in. The crossfit. Take up these goods and imbue them with purpose. Yeah, that, that's uh, useless, I guess. We don't want to carry this around. Okay, academic study. Maybe we, we can get something cool and have some fun. I really like these notes, as I already said. Like, uh, yeah, they can uh, fuck you up sometimes, but uh, they are pretty good most of the time. Yeah, I guess we will try to kill the Widow and uh, this one if possible. Now, the thing is that uh, with this one we might uh, kill this before it attacks, but with the blind we might... Uh, never mind. Eh, yeah, okay, this was not good, but it was a good chance. I think. On to the next. Okay, please uh, don't have a meltdown. Nice. Alright, we really need uh, to find the hospital as well. So he is inseparable with Dismas, so we will target Dismas here. But yeah, we just got leprosy. That's not, uh, that's not good at all. It's very bad. Right before the boss too, right? 14. Hmm. Yeah, let's kill it. Let's kill it. Though I guess we could have killed it with Andre, so that was a misplay. Actually, let's drink this for some dodge chance, why not? Just in case. Okay, look at this. <laughs> I don't like this at all, man. Okay, let's see. If uh, he has a meltdown, at least everything is maxed, so... We'll be fine. Unless he gets some uh, really bad quirk, I guess. That would suck. The one 
present in the extreme. This work. Okay, another one of those. Not necessary. Of course, we can't have uh, two of them equipped at the same time if they are the same quality. But uh, since this one is so slow, we could have uh, put it in. But uh, we have the combo already, so this one will be useless. Actually, for the lair, we probably want to equip uh, a second shell. Okay, we just got uh, um, even more, actually. Okay. An academic study full of the forbidden. Yeah, this is not one of my favorite. Oh, everyone wants to leave anyway. Pfft. Lame. At least, uh, what is the situation between uh, the last two characters? It's fine. We only need uh, four more uh, pips. And yeah, let's uh, equip actually some uh, more of the burn cells. Actually, let's mix armor. We probably are not going to use medicinal herbs. And do we really need the smoke bomb? That's a question. I mean, why not? Actually, let's do a change. Yeah, this is how we're gonna play. And the reason we'll do this is because uh, maybe we want to use the item, but uh, using the item might... Uh, if we use the item while we have a, a crit uh, token, we'll consume the token. And maybe we don't want that to happen. Most likely at least. Okay, give me the candle. Actually, we should have equipped uh, the Glimmer of Hope so we could have uh, more uh, flame. That's not good. Unfortunately, that's not good at all. Um, let's remove the speed. So the priority here is uh, to kill the summon first and then the Weeper. Okay, the summon is already dead thanks to the relationships. I mean, those mobs can blind Dismas, so maybe take aim was not the best option here, but... It also gives us dodge, so should be fine. Okay, it's meltdown time, right? I mean, honestly, we, we could have probably lost with the run there, with the Exemplar, so... One single meltdown is not a bad price to pay to get out of this fight uh, without uh, losing a hero. And the health doesn't matter that much, we will heal. It, it will be fine. I mean, uh, we can track things, I guess. Because we don't want uh, the repost uh, damage on this mass that only has uh, 22 max HP. Yeah, we would rather uh, all Audrey to tank. Hmm. He did uh, end up uh, tanking, but at least. Uh, no. Yeah, that's uh, that's not very nice. But it is what it is. Our talent is uh, moved us, uh, so we couldn't heal. Okay, so what about uh, this uh, group? Okay, the priority is again the summon, I think, and then we kill uh, this boy over here. We will start healing after the summon is dead. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. I mean... Hmm. 
Honestly, I want to kill it and be done with it. So... Yeah, we can also heal it with the combo, that's always nice. And the upgraded crash uh, heals a lot, as you can see. Okay, so now our target is uh, the pit fighter. Bravo. This is no time to falter. Okay, so I guess uh, we should heal uh, this much first. This must also has a uh, bonus. Uh, with a uh, wicked slice to bypass death door, so he has a better chance to kill them. That's always nice. And I guess. Let's kill this so we can attack next turn. Yeah, I don't like what's happening here. Okay, at least uh, we will have uh, a chance to heal once more. Yeah, that's that's our plan here. What are we healing though? Let's uh, heal Baris this time. One less obstacle in our path. Okay, let's see what we get. We don't care about this. We don't really care about this either. Uh, we don't care about this. We don't care about this. And at least we get a good trophy. Otherwise, this would have been uh, horrendous. Oh, yeah, right. They changed the books. Now there is a chance to have a lower stack like this. So we have less time to kill it, but uh, I don't think that would be a problem. I mean, it's a librarian. Did he also buff his life? Yeah, I think they did. Still should be pretty easy, at least in theory. In my mind, I think we'll be fine. Do we even care about this? Yeah, let's uh, try to, to apply some uh, another may finish the work. debuff. I would have liked uh, the bl the bleed uh, the to stick as well. Okay. Let's uh, use a smoke bomb. Never mind. So I guess the biggest misplay here is not uh, taking glimmer of hope to. So we could have uh, more flame. That was not nice. No, what the fuck? Okay, now that's a pretty big problem because we have one less turn to kill the boss. So we will uh, waste uh, the smoke bomb basically, so we can hit this turn. I don't know, I didn't like uh, what happened there at all. The resist is uh, nasty as well. At least uh, the final stack has three books. 
Well, that's, uh, that's something. Let's heal ourselves a little bit. But also these uh, dots over here. Uh, Okay, maybe we should have healed actually. Okay, that was not good, yeah. Please don't target this much again. It was a mistake. Okay. Yeah, it was a big mis mistake actually. Very bad. Okay, let's use our second burn salt and I guess... Uh, I mean, we have enough time. 3 tens is a lot. Let's uh, heal some stress. I mean, 3 tens is a lot in theory. But the problem is that we will have to heal Dismas. Okay, at least uh, this must, uh, will have a pretty good hit here, let's see. I think our best option is uh, the pistol, right? Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of resist, man. Could you not? Bravo. Okay. So we have uh, two hits to kill him, and one of them is by a blind. Uh, Grave robber. So we either need to kill him now or for the blight to stick and we kill him at least, okay? I mean, that was close. And uh, that's all because uh, Man at Arms uh, had that critical with uh, the act out attack as well on top of it from the positive relationship. But yeah, good fight. Uh, I also don't know how I feel about uh, this Trinket combo right here. Like, he's extremely squeezy now. Like you saw it yourself, right? Uh, we're never using this or this. I mean, what is this? Okay, what about uh, this one? Probably not, right? Let's get some items. Okay, this time the glimmer should be an option. So let's get. Uh, actually, the glimmer should go to Dismas. Never mind that. And uh, let's use uh, some bandages, I guess. Or maybe. Maybe even burn salves. How do we feel about the burn salves instead of the bandages? Yeah, honestly, let's go for the burn salves. And we have to drop something, and it will be the bubbles again. Okay. Okay, hospital is a pretty good uh, thing to see right now. For multiple reasons, we will remove the bad diseases, maybe some quicks, and also what I really like is that we will uh, use a lot of gold, so we will have a lot of inventory space, and we will not have to manage it as much. Alright, so. Actually, I mean, since he has uh, the block plus, I wouldn't mind that much if. Uh, I mean, that's cope, which is blind, I think. 
Yeah. Let's use one now. So far in this uh, run I have had uh, a hard time figuring out a valuable hero and the least valuable one so far. Like I don't know. <laughs> so uh, probably the worst uh, has been the, the grave robber. In all honesty, even though I like her, but uh, as uh, I said, uh, she needs more skill unlocks to be effective. But what about the best one, though? I mean, it will probably end up being the Black Doctor since we have unlocked uh, his abilities as well, but I don't know. Actually, they will try to combo him. Hmm. Yeah, there's a good chance we will uh, remove uh, the strings and uh, maybe even give them to buyers and like, I don't know, like uh, what's happening here is not nice. Or move him in the back. Actually, yeah, we are probably moving Dismas. But if we move Dismas, then that means that the incision upgrade uh, was useless. Because uh, then Black Doctor will have to stay at rank 4. I don't know how I'm feeling about that. Well, one thing is for, for certain, however, and that thing is that uh, we can't go with this setup and with uh, Dismas uh, rank 2 against uh, the Cultist fights. Because Evangelist uh, will destroy Dismas. Yeah, let's... Okay, my friend. You're being annoying as well. A slow That's not a good look. An unavoidable end. Like, look at this. But effective. And also, we don't have access uh, to good food. We only have the slime molds. Oh, okay, now we have the flapjacks as well. But uh, we're not equipping this, unfortunately. Because uh, our inventory space is extremely limited. Too bad. Yeah, let's uh, throw this out. Let's throw out this garbage. Uh, okay, we will have to take some... Uh, let's be honest. It's over for those two, yeah. They're probably the worst uh, in items we have right now. Okay, so we remove the leprosy for sure. Let's see, we also remove the fragile for sure. I don't mind these two. Yeah, the pacifist is bad. I kinda want to look in the breacher, we will see. Slow hand is also bad. But uh, we have uh, three positive quicks here. And I'm not sure at the moment if uh, when you get a new one, if it overrides the first one. <coughs> it overrides, I'm sorry, the first one. Uh, if it's random, then uh, we don't want to lose Blitzer, so... Yeah, let's, let's lock it. Let's lock it. It's extremely strong. Do we buy anything else? At some point we will want uh, more Antivenoms, but uh, that point is not now. And also there's no point in healing, I guess. I mean, we could heal uh, a little bit of life on Dismas. What do you think about that? It makes some sense. I mean, it's just for gold, yeah. Let's do it. Let's hope uh, we find the shrine as well.
Okay, uh, the gulls, the ghouls here are annoying. I guess we will try to kill it fast. But uh, this one will probably not let us, he will uh, probably guard him. Let's use another one of these. Okay. Yes, exactly. Eh. It is what it is. And what it is is garbage. I really wanted to kill this one fast. Okay, that was a mistake actually. We should have hit here so we would have removed one from the guard. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But let's use this. Yeah, we're looking good. And also, with all the stress killing from the relationships, uh, we're doing even better. Which is always nice to see. Overcome even the greatest of threats. to your redemption. Centuries of human learning and achievement ruined by riotous contempt. I mean, uh, I normally like to pick this, but this time our relic uh, situation is extremely bad, right? So maybe we will pick this one instead. How does uh, Barrison feel? Okay, we cannot pick that, and I don't want to leave either. Basically, I, we cannot pick this, what I'm talking about. It will clear the relationship, and that's not good, so we're picking this. In this world, Wealth is worthless without purpose. Okay, let's remove uh, some food real quick. And uh, other than that, we don't need so many pipe widths either. Yeah, fuck uh, the burner ones though. Also, remove this. Another hospital. Okay, at least. Uh, we will move away fast. We will continue on. There's nothing we want to buy. Okay. Yeah, they're very damn close. <sighs> so we will really need to manage uh, both of their threats to remain before below 4. So we don't uh, 
have a chance to lose the, the relationship. That would, uh, that would suck. We probably want to kill those instead of focusing on this dude, even though he has a chance to deal some stress damage at some point if he manages uh, to get the combo point off. Nice. So according to the changes, uh, the second uh, region uh, guardian node is supposed to be a deacon fight with nothing else, just a deacon uh, and no, no, I mean. Uh, of course there are more cultists uh, that accompany him, but uh, uh, there are uh, there is no second wave basically, you fight the Deacon immediately. These folk have kept their honor. Have Which is good enough. So hopefully it will be a more interesting fight than uh, the one we had at the first region, which uh, was kind of disappointing, right? Like, it was not a fun fight. It was too easy. A simple choice. At least it should be. Okay, so we only need uh, two more pips. That's good. I think uh, we're taking the candle here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. It's fine. An unexpected find. And the funny thing is that uh, we will keep nothing from uh, what uh, got offered, which is uh, which is sad. But it is uh, what it is. Who did uh, he fight again with Andre? What is his status with Andre? Okay, he's doing fine. I was wor worried there for a second. We probably want to kill this if possible, but uh, I guess he will most likely jump back, so let's uh, attack this one. We don't have uh, the raw damage since he attacked uh, second. Come on, man. Whatever. Let us hope to finish also, our decision to start uh, using glimmers of hope to have uh, so much light it was probably bad because uh, we have uh, two heroes with uh, light sensitive and we have mentioned it uh, like three times already. So we should uh, know better than uh, doing this. Because now we're missing uh, the strength tokens here and uh, I don't like that. Be frank. Yeah. 
Also, have you noticed uh, that uh, the talent is from the Black Doctor? Or, or... Okay, never mind. That's uh, that's wrong. I would say it only pushes us forward so far, but uh, that's not what's been happening actually. Yeah, I think uh, it pushed us back like two times. Of course, uh, it's easier to remember when you get pushed forward because that's uh, the worst case scenario, right? And uh, that's how the human brain works, I guess. Okay, losing uh, some light is actually a good thing here, ironically enough. And we also get our final uh, good relationship, so While the heart still beats, we're in a pretty good spot. We just uh, need better trinkets, in my opinion, and uh, we're good to go. We even have the good trophy waiting for us. So, uh, maybe we want to change uh, our items a little bit for the fight, and I think... Having one smoke bomb is good. Maybe having a second one can be useful, useful as well, so let's do that. We don't need uh, two burn salves, actually we have two main burn salves. I guess the plan is to get some bandages in. Over here. And uh, since we have so many burn salves, we will uh, discard one. He got the uh, melee skills buff, which is uh, whatever, honestly. The question is, can we kill him uh, before uh, those two can uh, heal him up? And the answer is probably not, right? Yeah, okay, so let's try to kill the, the small cultists first. Okay, let's try to blind. Maybe we are being uh, a little bit uh, too liberal with uh, our smoke bomb usage. Maybe we should uh, save them more. Because we will definitely need uh, at least two against uh, the second exemplar as well. Also, this one is invisible now. Hmm. I mean, that's uh, that's unlikely. There is no there is no reason to attack this one right now because uh, we expect this one to maybe heal him, and if he heals, uh, he will remove the dots as well. But. Uh, it seems that it was misplayed because uh, it seems that we are killing this one. In any case, it shouldn't make uh, much of a difference. Why did we hit for zero? Hmm. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. This is no time to falter. 
but yeah, this one is not really that much of a challenge either. Because you don't have like uh, the previous wave uh, to damage you and stuff. And if you come into the fight with uh, full life and uh, good stress counts, then uh, this one is not uh, threatening at all. But uh, he c I have wiped uh, to the Deacon actually. Uh, many times too. Like uh, it's not one or two, it's at least four times. But in order for you to lose the Deacon, I mean, you have to either try to kill him uh, before the cultist and fail, so he heals a lot, or you have to come uh, here with uh, in a very bad party situation where you have uh, some uh, guys b below like 30% health or something like that, right? Yeah, so if you come fully prepared, you should never uh, lose. At least after the first time you see him, right? Because, okay, the first time maybe... Maybe you don't know what he does and you died. Uh, it happens. Actually, this is not that bad uh, for our Plank Doctor. Say what you will. Especially if we don't find any other uh, trinkets for him. So we will keep it for now. We're throwing this for sure. And we don't need two of those. Why, why don't we need two of those? We don't, okay? It's that simple. And finally... I think... Yeah... Actually, we, we're fine with our smoke bombs. We have four. I thought uh, we only had like uh, two left. So we didn't waste our uh, resources. We only got for mastery points though. That's uh, not a good thing. The familiar heart. Also, this is a uh, horrible in because it will only give us uh, negative critics. So get ready. Vicious. Vicious is actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got squeamish here. We don't really mind. Uh, fragile is horrible once again. And we get the double fragile. Okay. Yeah, this is not good, but uh, at least uh, that will be like 32 gold to remove these two. And this one is always nice. I mean, not always, but uh, it's nice most of the time. Okay, so let's uh, see where we're going first. The provinces and cantrips of our land crumbling okay. and undone. Yeah, it's an interesting choice. Why? Because I think Foyator gives us a better chance to kill the final blah boss. And uh, the exemplar as well, because we might get uh, good uh, trinkets for our Prolac Doctor, while uh, the things in the tangle are more or less in the defensive side. There are some pretty good t trinkets in the tangle, don't, don't get me wrong, right? But uh, I think that for this run, our best case scenario is probably getting uh, good Black Doctor trinkets from the Harvest Child and that's what uh, we're going to do, we're going to the Fighter then the next stop is leagues away. let's see what Land we should upgrade I mean we will need something else other than the dart so against the child especially so let's get the, the throne dagger I mean it's time to upgrade the heal, come on I mean, hmm. we can uh, upgrade this as well for the stun possibility. I don't mind that at all. And uh, actually, this would be better. This will be most likely better against the boss because it gives a double block. So let's get this one. And uh, finally, there's a chance we get the absinthe. Like, I don't really care about upgrading uh, any of these for this region at the moment. Wicked Slice is fun. But, 
I don't see the reason. This one, I don't see the reason. Hmm. Yeah, let's get absent. Why not? I mean, we're more or less ready. Like, uh, with uh, the things we have already, we could fight the final boss. If we wanted to. Let's see what uh, uh, the provision sells. Yeah, nothing really good here, even if we had uh, the bubbles. I mean, the poultice will probably help. The disease thing will help as well. Okay, let's start like this. So, 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 so... Obviously, we don't... What? Why not? Oh, because he's squeamish. Hmm... Okay... I mean, I think uh, this one has a good resistance. 40. Yeah, let's give you this uh, to the Black Doctor then. And uh, also this will be good against uh, the Exemplar. So... Let's see. Okay, everyone will get one except Andre. That's the plan. And who is more likely to get hit uh, by Exemplar? It's probably Byristan. So he will get two. And now he has like 95 resistance, which is uh, pretty good. Also, yeah, Byristan needs uh, to eat. Uh, so we are in a better uh, state. And we, I will use one more actually. Okay, we're good here. Uh, at 22 life. Why? Why is it 22 again? Alright. Oh, because we have uh, Fragile. Well, since we have Fragile, maybe we could uh, equip this uh, right now actually. Do you think that's a good idea? I mean, why not? I mean, we lose the speed. The speed, uh, losing the speed is bad. But uh, I mean, if we were, uh, if you knew we would equip this, then uh, why did we use uh, the blight pull this on this one? It was a misplay. Okay. Yeah, now, now he has a lot of life and we don't really care about his damage. You know, that, yeah, it's a good trade-off, I like it. And we can make Ondry even more fragile. <laughs> if we want, but we don't want, to be honest. What about the crit? What about the crit? We could remove uh, maybe the damage, but he will always be last. Why remove the damage? Okay, so this is our setup for now. We will keep this, but maybe we will uh, discard them later. <laughs> And also, oh, something last. Do you sell any antivenoms? No. Shit. Okay, doesn't matter. I mean, it, might, it does matter a bit, but we will use uh, this over here. I think that's good enough. Okay, we're we're good to go on our uh, final region. And it's going to be the further. The tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. The rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. Okay, so this is our last region, and one thing uh, we didn't mention before is that uh, we didn't get any more shrines. 
right? Yeah, we only got uh, the two we got in the first region, so we should uh, hunt for signs some more. So, we're going here for sure. And I think uh, going to the Watchtower is probably a good idea. I mean, actually, it shouldn't matter that much. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Also, one more thing. Since we are here, I think uh, there's no point in using Noxious Blast since uh, most uh, enemies have high blood resistance. So let's get the papers. Anything else we can change? No. Okay. And uh, now it's the time that we actually pick the Grave Robber. Not for this run, but for the next. I think. Actually, it all depends. I mean, uh, we probably really want Dead of Night next run. I really like Dead of Night. And the Retribution is far away. And we also don't even need Retribution for the first few areas, uh, since they tend to be easy, right? So we can even unlock it next run. Going uh, further into the Black Doctor tree is probably not the best idea because what else is there? Magnesium Rain is pretty good, Indiscriminate Science is very good, but uh, Disorienting Blast uh, is average. It's not bad, it's not great. And uh, if we go all in on Plague Doctor, that will force us to pick uh, Plague Doctor a lot, and I, w I would like to have uh, more options available. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's do Grave Robber. Because Dead of Night is uh, one of the best skills in the game. It's very strong. Grave Robber. It could be like, okay, it's not top 5, but uh, it could be maybe top 15 or something. Born into money and married into more, she spent her days on horseback. Maybe even top ten. Uh, her evenings in the ballroom. She was the object of her husband's boorish lust and drunken temper, placating his worst tendencies with a veneer of gracious deference, all the while indulging murderous fantasies of freedom and the fortune that would soon be hers. Yeah, the Grave Robber backstory is average as well. Uh, I know I said that I liked uh, the backstories and I do like most of them. But it just so happens that um, we just started with, with two of my least favorite ones. Like, some of them are very, very cool. Like, for the leper example, I don't know. I really like the leper backstory. So, what's the plan here? The plan... Actually, having to the face is always good. Why? Because uh, we might get uh, pulled to the first rank and then what we do I guess we could remove uh, the daggers actually yeah that's what we're going to do we remove the daggers for Dead of Night Dead of Night and upgraded is not very good it's pretty whatever right though you still heal actually it's pretty decent okay <laughs> uh, however when it shines is when you upgrade it because uh, Oh, they buffed it as well, right? Now it gives uh, two stealth tokens, but also it removes one stress. Okay, now that it gives two stealth tokens, it's probably definitely top 10 ability in the game. Let's say what you want. I think, uh, I think it's very good, man. Okay, let's. Uh, since we are uh, set for the most part, let's not fight uh, the cultists. You will fight so that others may flee. We are not going to rush through this region, but uh, we will avoid a lot of uh, necessary fights as well. Since I get, uh, since I guess, uh, okay, wait a second. What's uh, the situation here? It's fine. 
Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, we don't have a lot of things uh, unlocked to use uh, Gordon and uh, Bobbles, right? We don't have good things it's all unlocked, we don't have uh, good combat items and uh, in items and stuff. So we will not need uh, that much gold. So maybe we can skip some fights. Normally I like to fight a lot. So we will have to kill this one fast. Why? Because it acts twice per turn. It's very annoying. It should die. What do we think about Caltrops? We're using it. That's what we think. Unfortunately, Poison Dart is uh, pretty shit here. So, what is the second uh, most annoying mob? It's this one. Why? Because it bleeds a lot. It's it tends to do a lot of damage with uh, the bleed. Like, look at this from rank command to rank four in like uh, three enemy turns immediately. But uh, like uh, we said, uh, what we will uh, do, however, is uh, we will uh, fight the Lerbos. That's why we picked the fighter anyway. Just so we have a better chance uh, to get good trinkets. Okay, so this will uh, passively die, it will just attack once more, so we don't uh, need to worry about it that much anymore. So I guess we're killing this now. Actually, never mind that, yeah, he can also do this, this mob, of course. I forgot there for a moment. However, I think uh, there's a very good chance we kill this or put it in a place that it would, it would die. Yeah, yeah. So it was guaranteed, basically. Also, Dead of Night uh, provides us with corpse distraction that, uh, as you can see, we need it in this comp. It, it can be helpful, especially in the fighter. We didn't mention that earlier, but uh, I guess it's pretty important. Uh, there are a lot, a lot of mobs that like uh, to eat the corpses and gain uh, various buffs, right? So having an option to delete the corpses is always good in this region. I mean... Whatever, right? What am I even thinking about? Let's blind. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think we did a uh, pretty decent job uh, with uh, the abilities we picked so far, especially considering uh, that uh, we will not be playing uh, a lot of highwaymen, so... If we exclude him from the equation, the like uh, the options Let were what uh, we did or possibly getting retribution. Like those uh, two were the best paths. And that's what I'm talking about by the way, look at this. This is a very good trinket that we will be using uh, for uh, maybe the exemplar fight even. And definitely in the final region. We got lucky, we got it pretty quick. We're never using this, n never. And I guess uh, it's too late for this one. Let's continue. I 
Yeah, the wood flower was blunt. Okay. Information brings accurate insight. Normally, I don't uh, like to pick the wood flower, but uh, since uh, we really need uh, the shrines, it's always good uh, to have the map scouted. Okay, so two shrines in this region. Maybe two is uh, the maximum amount, actually. Only the route you take to get there. Now, that's interesting. We want to go to the hospital, right? Yes. But we also need some gold. I th no, we don't really need uh, a lot of gold. So, let's get the candle. I was uh, considering going for the crystals then. But uh, I think we'll be fine, so let's uh, get uh, as many candles as possible, right? Actually, does the creatures then uh, give you candles at the end? I don't know. We will see. Because uh, there was this screen at the end that showed us uh, what things uh, gives us uh, candles potentially, right? And uh, I didn't notice if uh, creatures then was one of them. I also like the academic scars as an option anyway. It gives you a lot of useful uh, things. But the... Our inventory is getting full again. Uh, okay, th in this fight we will probably want uh, to use a, a glimmer, or maybe even two. So, let's equip it. It depends on this one and his relationship status. Yeah, we will probably pick uh, Paragilsus. Like, uh, the shuffle shouldn't matter that much, yeah. Slow because we want to kill these two first anyway. I really like uh, the combat music of the fighter. Okay, since our plan is to kill these two, they're fast too. Okay, let's use uh, this since we have we too many do. items away. Okay, nice crit there. I mean, we could possibly blind, but I think killing those uh, fast is probably more important than avoiding some attacks here. Like, we're already bleeding for four here. Actually... Uh, yeah, when uh, we kill this one, then we will start uh, using a uh, bolster. I really want uh, to get done with these mobs. Okay, this is enough. That's nice. And we will probably eat a couple of corpses as well, so we have uh, full life with our uh, grave robber. Mm, now would be a good time uh, to blind them. Actually... It's probably a good time to use a bandage as well. Let's see, will this mess uh, allow us? Let's use another gamer. I mean, since we already have the combo, we might as well uh, try to crit. Ok, 
Okay. A calculated generosity, but a welcome one nonetheless. The reason we move here is so this must can attack. Because if he was in rank one, he couldn't uh, target uh, the backline, as we saw earlier. Let's uh, finish with this one. Yeah, we're possibly killing this one with Dismas as well, so we might as well start uh, doing some other stuff. I think I will even heal uh, the Blight if I'm being honest. Probably not. I mean, Dismas goes first anyway, so let's try to get a crit. Okay, I thought we had the, the speed token actually. Okay, that was a mistake. Then. Turns out it did, didn't matter. Okay, another one of these cleavers? Well. We don't need the second one, that's, that's, uh, that's for sure. Should we give this to Andre? I was thinking about this earlier. What's his life like? We lose two life. Fine. Let's give her a combat item as well. Really quick, okay, so... Wait a second. Yeah. We won't go to the hospital, we said, right? Problem. Yeah, not? okay. So we have a double fragile to remove. She understands the futility of her work, but undertakes it nonetheless. I mean, light sensitive, uh, removing light sensitive is an option too, but uh, we don't have enough gold. We will remove slow hand, however. And uh, this is it, we use everything. We don't need to heal. I don't. Maybe actually we could buy a single antidote. Anti venom, sorry, yeah. A single anti venom is good. I think. Yeah, let's go for the study. Maybe we will get uh, something good, like otherworldly fragments that will help us a lot. Okay. We don't need the scout here. We don't really need the HP as well. But it's probably better than the stress thing. I think so at least. What's the situation with. Uh, eh. Okay, we probably don't want to do it then because uh, he already has a lot of stress and if we go to one they might clear the relationship immediately so we pick this. Yes, okay that's the plan. Let's see. Ah. Okay, so this trinket. We don't like this trinket because uh, it uh, might give us very bad tokens at the wrong moment and uh, this has the potential to outright uh, lose us the game. I know it's fun, but we're not going to play it, man. When deliberation is exhausted, trust your instinct. Also, the flame is getting too low, so maybe we want to equip glimmers. But I will not. 
We will equip something else instead. The antidote, for sure. The smoke bomb is good, but I would prefer it on someone else, so this one can get the bleed. And I think they bleed a lot in there. There is a chance uh, we get bleeds, so let's have a lot of bandages. Like, we're not uh, gonna need them anywhere else anyway. For the most part, yourself. another candle. The hulking horror inside will not fall easily. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we can uh, do a good job uh, against this boss. I don't think we will, ha we will have a problem. What's the plan here? Probably kill uh, these guys, right? Why? They cause stress. Yeah, okay, that's uh, reason enough. Okay, this is horrible though. Yeah, this is very bad. Unless we get like the good doctor in, then we can't remove this, it seems like. I don't think there is another hospital waiting for us, and the uh, minus 20% HP is actually a lot, I think. It's blind. Yeah, I don't know, I'm kinda sad about uh, the disease. We can bolster later. Let's try to finish this one. I mean, it was ambitious. Can we kill this one? Yeah, okay, that's good enough. I, get, I guess our grave robber will... Uh, We'll kill this instead. Yeah, that's not very nice. We should have attacked this. How fast is it? Six, okay. The plan here is to bolster, basically. That's uh, why we're playing like this. We want uh, to use one bolster. Yeah, managing your stress is extremely important. We're full life, so no need to eat. Yeah, that's nice. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Let us uh, proceed. Okay, so normally we would want to move the Lord because he has a chance to hit us with diseases from uh, the back rank. We don't have anything what unlocked right yet. However, we will focus down this one because this one is extremely annoying too. Actually, we will try to blind just in case, of course, uh, we fail, we can't target the lady. Which is not nice. I guess we will uh, leave uh, the goat for last. It's uh, the least uh, annoying mob here. Yeah, yeah so, so it can push us around and uh, change our uh, formation. But we don't mind that much with uh, this party because we can fix it easily outside of uh, Plug Doctor here.
Bravo. Okay, with a little bit of luck, she will attack this one. I say luck, but I think uh, it was certain that uh, she would uh, do this move from rank one. I guess we can continue attacking here. A lot of crits lately from Grave Robber, even without combo. It's always nice to see that, right? Now the question is, do we bolster? Oh no, we can't. Okay. So basically the plan is to try to eat the corpse before the Lord has a chance to act. However, he goes first. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so now we have to kill him uh, before next time basically. It's possible. But we lost a lot of life here. Maybe we will skip uh, the lair at this point. Which is not something uh, I like. I mean... We will be able to put him on death door. So let's bolster. Not with this one, right? Yeah. I guess uh, well, that's what we're doing then. Yeah, this kill is not nice. Why? Because uh, it doesn't give us uh, the chance to heal. Okay, let's go. Okay, it depends on uh, what we get actually. Okay. Kitchen knives is actually good. Another cleaver. Okay. The bumper crop. Yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna use this one. Kitchen knives are good. Our situation is not the greatest though for a boss fight, wouldn't you agree? Let's go! <laughs> yeah, that's uh... We're risking it for no reason basically. If I'm being honest, but... Let's see what uh, we can do. After all, I say... We are going for some interesting runs and stuff. That doesn't mean... Uh, that we will throw on purples, but I think there's a pretty good chance we can uh, kill the boss. So that's why we came here. It's too early to heal. Trying to kill the mid is an option. I mean, uh, we will not kill the mid on purples, but... Or even vapors. What do you think about the vapors? I think they're good. Yeah, vapors are fine. And we can also throw a smoke bomb, but uh, will not connect. Okay. The problem here is that uh, Dismas, with his life, uh, will take a lot of damage from this next attack. Do we want to hold the lion? Not yet. Okay. Come on. Yeah, that's horrible. Okay, at least we didn't get uh, more uh, debuffs, more eating debuffs. Please don't hit Dismas. Okay. Okay. 
But yeah, at least we brought many bandages. We're not going to use anti-venom here. There's no reason to. Hey, crit uh, wasted on the bandage is probably not a bad thing if I'm being honest, so we don't mind. A brilliant conclusion. But yeah, hold the end is extremely good here because even if this uh, has gotten the, the debuff here, uh, the immobilize would uh, prevent him from going uh, to rank one tweet. I don't think we need to heal either. I mean, maybe we could try, but there's no reason to. I think uh, it's vapor time again. Yeah, we will be using a lot of vapors with this build. Because we have uh, the cultist trinket that uh, gives us uh, the reduces our damage a lot, right? And this has a lot of blind resistance, so okay. That's not good. We can't even defend, if I'm being honest. What's the speed like? What uh, the Okay, at least she has a bandage and uh, she's very likely to go first. Exactly. And then we could probably heal uh, with uh, the doctor as well. This doesn't work yet. Okay, we're not in a very good spot. I kind of want uh, to heal both here. What's our relationship situation again? Okay. A calculated generosity, but a welcome one nonetheless. Look at this, sixteen uh, life. Okay, next time is going to be bad. We could bolster maybe, but we really want to kill it. And I meant the bolster for uh, the block plus, basically. Okay, let's uh, remove this. Okay, yeah, taking this fight uh, was not wise, for sure. Now, what's the plan here? Tell me. And also, the baby resisted uh, both smoke bombs, which... Uh, I mean, we could try to do this. The only... Th I'm only afraid for Dismas, basically. I don't think we will have a problem with uh, Barristan. What do you say? Okay, let's do this. Okay. All right. Look at this, uh, the absolute state of the party. Okay. Horrible, because she also wants to eat. Okay, we made it. We made it. Sure, it was too risky to take this fight, but we knew it. Holy shit! And I don't even know if we are going to use that trinket like. Brightly for all the world to see. What was the point of this fight, really? It was for fun. 
We don't need double cleaver, we don't need this, we don't need that. Kitchen knife is good. Because uh, we might heal a little bit, we should give it uh, to our friend over here. Right? Yeah, I think so. Actually, I'm a big idiot because we could use the second uh, cleaver as well. We have two blight uh, characters for some reason. I totally forgot about uh, the grave robber. And uh, I don't think we will get another one, so congratulations. We played ourselves basically. Okay, let's get to this. And, uh, honestly, what does the map look like? It look, kinda looks like shit. Basically, I think we're going to go this way so we can heal a lot. So, let's equip the last uh, thing. And it's going to be another smog bomb, right? Why not? And uh, let's finish up with the trinkets. So, actually, you know what? Both of those will go to the grave robber. And I think uh, we are actually going to play like this for uh, our Black Doctor. Yeah, so seems good, seems good. So we're never using this. Who cares about the fucking herbs, right? Not me. Okay, let us commence. We have 68, we might keep them this time around. The only problem with our current situation is uh, that... Uh, fuck. Okay, we lost uh, the relationship, first of all. But also we will uh, go into the boss with a lot of stress because of our option to fight. Which is uh, not a very good thing. We might have a meltdown and stuff. By confronting the past, we learn to face the future. Okay, and now we have to think. Okay, let's go for Barristan. Why? Because we want to slowly try to unlock Retribution as well, next run. But also we can use Bello against the Exemplar. So why not, right? A premature promotion. The politics of a military career are perhaps as treacherous as war itself. Though untested in combat, his acumen for advancement was unmatched. Through a dubious campaign of influence and intimidation, he had at last claimed a coveted command and was eager to bask in the glory of the victories that were sure to come. Yeah, Man of Arms is one of my favorite uh, backstories. It's cool. So we got uh, four shrines for our first run. That's uh, that's pretty good actually. And I guess we're never playing Rampart. That's I guess that's what I guess at the moment at least. Let's get Bellow. Also, wait a second. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Tomorrow's regret. We could even go for uh, or uh, for the Horde to be honest. Right. But then uh, we will not heal that much, no, never mind. Let's heal the most and just eat a meltdown or something. And I don't know about this one. There's a chance we could use it. But probably not. I mean, uh, we could use uh, the flame. We're definitely not picking this one ever. What about the food? We can't even open the inventory to check if we have enough mold, but I think we do, so let's get the flame. 
Okay, let's check. Do we have enough food? Yeah, yeah, of course we do. I don't know, man. This uh, exemplar will probably be harder than the previous one, ironically. What's our plan here? I think the plan again is to go all in on the exemplar. Why? Because... I don't know if we, if we can kill this in time, especially with the chance uh, to get uh, stealth. Okay, resisting uh, is not nice. But that's why... Oh, we didn't use smoke bomb with our previous hero, never mind. Okay, that was actually a misclick. I wanted uh, to click Noxious Blast, but uh, I got uh, the blinding gas instead. And uh, that's already not nice. Like one round and uh, he's full health, basically. Pretty much at least. Yeah, as you can see it got stealth. So yeah, for chapter 1... I really don't want to try to kill the altar with the, ex the exemplar. Because uh, it uh, might uh, get stealth, and then all this damage you put here is basically negated. Let's try to blind again. A slow dissection, an unavoidable end. Okay. And we will try again to blind. That's good. Okay, this time... Oh, we did, we don't have an Oxygen Blast, that's why. Okay, that's a misplay as well. Oops. I mean, we could use Vapors. Yeah, let's use Vapors for uh, a strong critical weapon. Okay, After all, the plan uh, right now is the bolster. To remove the repost. I hope uh, Andre goes first. Yeah. A breakthrough. Good. Okay, that's a nice fat crit. And we have mana to, uh, to make him miss a lot. We are not going to use uh, blending as uh, enough. Okay, I guess we are getting a little bit uh, lucky with the dodges as well, but as you can see this is a pretty solid game plan, right? With the smoke bombs and that's why we saved them. And we will use uh, one last uh, smoke bomb here. Okay. Yeah, let's go for the vapors again. Okay, we're actually very lucky that he chose uh, Andre over here. 
And where is that? Uh, I will explain in a little bit. Okay, dude. Six speed, and what is the speed of our laundry? Okay, we removed the the speed ring. It. What I, I would uh, say is that uh, since I thought laundry would go first because uh, I forgot we replaced the ringgits, we could just move to rank four over here, and in rank four, exemplar cannot use the fall. So basically, you counter him with just uh, moving a little back, but uh, that's not gonna happen now. Jesus Christ! Okay. All problems have their solutions. Success. Okay. Let us proceed. We're almost done. Let's see what we find in the mountain. Mm, I think we have a pretty good chance uh, to kill the locks. I'm happy with our chances, yeah. What happened here? Okay, those are doing fine. So yeah, basically we we'll go with 5 positive relationships. Uh, we, we could have had uh, 6. But for some reason we decided to fight the boss. When, uh, while our party was not in a good state for it, right? But it, it was fun though, it was fun. This was a pretty fast region, I think. We skipped a lot. We would come here in summers of okay. years gone. Let's see what we got. Right. Soft. Think. I mean, we right. really got a lot of those quicks that uh, remove our uh, HP. Soft sucks. It also blinds you. Okay, that's very bad. Let's see. Okay, that's extremely bad too. Because uh, now we can't even give him the fucking slime, S and uh, since he has uh, such a little health, such a little base, base health, even like two or three health from the slime uh, would have been good. Okay, another light sensitive dude, and uh, something we don't care about. So so far this has been catastrophic. Uh, we got to uh, tell it how it is. I mean, we already you know we are going to the mountain. Journey awaits you once again. I mean, honestly, probably we have to use this then. What is the situation uh, with uh, Dismas? 23 life, right? What happens if we, if, uh, we put this on? 41. It's much better. I mean, also, this is very, very good. Don't get me wrong. But we are going... Uh, I think this is safer, ironically. So yeah, that's what we're going for. Even if we end up doing uh, less damage. Should be fine. Damage-wise, we should be fine. And... Uh, let's give this one here. Okay, let's upgrade some of this first. However painful. Is there a reason to get Bellow? No. Okay, that's simple. We get Rampart instead. I guess we could also get the Defender since uh, we have so many points. And what about this? Let's get the Wicked Slice. I don't really care about Dragon Shot. We might upgrade it. We definitely want uh, Noxious Blast. We will move uh, Black Doctor back uh, to rank 4. Potentially. We will keep uh, blinding gas equipped. So why not upgrade it then? And what about uh, the grave robber? We don't need to upgrade this one. 
but uh, we will actually. Okay. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. A bunch of garbage. So let's discard those. We don't need anything from here. What about combat items? That's what's the most important thing, I guess. A smoke bomb is good. Maybe even a second smoke bomb. Do we care about the caltrops? We, we could take caltrops with us for the final boss. Why not? Let's get some caltrops. I mean, let's get the smoke bomb as well. We might as well take it. Why not? And we want to heal. And we also want. Uh, Hmm. Actually, is there any situation when when is there any situation where we can uh, actually gain a positive relationship here? Probably not, right? So our problem is this much over here with Barisan and Paralkiltus, so we will do this and also we will do this and we do this just so that we have four with it so one meltdown does not obliterate us. How much stress do we need to, to remove? A lot. So we will have to buy both of these. A bit of comfort. I mean, maybe we can get damage. away with only one. We'll see. Something to ease the rigors of the road. What did we get here? Yeah, that's uh, that's whatever. That's fine. Oh, we can't. Uh, Heal her more. Okay, since we can't kill heal her more, then we might as well uh, buy the last uh, whiskey. Ah. Okay. That's kind of unfortunate, but it shouldn't uh, make a difference. Finally, let's see what we can do about uh, you know items and stuff. I, d I don't know what the, they did uh, with uh, the fights on the mountain. I just know that uh, there is not an exemplar there anymore, sadly. We don't want this because we are really light sensitive. <coughs> I guess we get a smoke bomb and. Uh, Maybe some, some, uh, something like that, basically. Yeah, looks good enough. And we are ready to move on. So yeah, I'm very confident about our chances. That's mainly because I was surprised that uh, we killed uh, this first exemplar that easily with this group. And uh, I actually consider exemplar harder than the locks. Uh, but I, I did notice that they nerfed exemplar a bit, so maybe my opinion will change. But yeah, previous previous parts, exemplar was harder than uh, the locks for sure. Yeah, no question. 
Okay, what do we have here? Oh, so it's a Deacon mass again. Only Deacon. Okay. What is our plan here then? We didn't change the formation, we didn't do anything and like uh, I'm sleeping, I don't know. He has 60% debuff resistance so I don't know about uh, wasting this mob bomb here. Maybe we will use it for uh, the next fight. All marks of the unprepared. So basically, we will kill this one. Starters. Anxiety forms insidious fears. Okay, this seems like a harder fight uh, than I expected it. At I hope we don't take uh, too much uh, stress damage. What's the situation here? I mean... Dismas can probably deal with this one on his own, right? At least they target Barristan. That's a, that's a good thing. Bravo. Okay, that's a good thing too, because we might uh, kill it uh, before uh, it actually heals. Depends on uh, the turn order. Okay, I guess not. I mean, he's full life anyway, so why do we even care? So this one should be dead, right? Yes, okay. Stupendous. Yeah, stupendous indeed. I mean, if we had point blank shot with our setup right now, we would demolish the last boss. That's for sure. But uh, we made a conscious decision to make this hard a little harder so we can uh, have a better time uh, in the future. So I don't, uh, I don't regret it. A breakthrough. Okay, that was... Uh, I didn't even check. Okay, that was uh, extremely stupid. Okay, I mean, we can try to light. And uh, we will have to remember uh, to fix our party uh, formation and stuff after this fight. Okay, I guess we're not doing that then. So we could attack uh, with the pistol. Okay. Whatever, right? Doesn't matter. Let's use this one for fun. Okay, at least we will be able to use a uh, bolster. It was not a bad thing. Sure, we take some damage, but who cares? Actually, we can even uh, heal some stress. Yeah. And get to full life as well. I think we will uh, heal even more, actually. Yeah, now we're in a very good spot for the next fight. 
and then of course we use wicked smash because it has a, a higher chance to kill even the big ones all right so what do we want to do I think the most important thing is moving uh, Paracelsus to the back and then we remove incision and get Noxious Blast but then we want incision as well why do we want incision? because we might uh, get uh, to the front if he's the last one standing okay what about this? yeah this uh, seems fine to me this uh, we don't have any options and uh, we will not need Bello for the last uh, fight that's for sure also, we should probably use some of our items. Let's discard the gold. Um, what do we want for the last boss is the question. I guess... Yeah, okay. So, we, we can use every item we have, uh, except uh, one smoke bomb from our current inventory okay let's see what the fight is oh it's the cardinal yeah okay oh yeah that's when you attack uh, those get when they are in the front ranks and it doesn't seem that uh, scary so this would be Probably easier than the previous fight, I would say. Yeah, let's use our only smoke boom. Yeah, we will kill both of those uh, before trying to kill uh, the Cardinal. That's the one. Bravo. And I guess uh, we will kill uh, this one with the Blight, of course, and then. Uh, we will need the other one, so he will not get any heals or worship tokens. Okay, why is it like this? I don't know, but we can use anti-venom, as already explained. Do we want that to move uh, up front? I mean, why not? Promising development. It shouldn't matter that much. But eating this will enable a Dismas to attack next turn. Ah, let's start lighting instead. We don't like the fact uh, that we have a uh, vulnerable token, so I guess uh, we will uh, hold the line. We want uh, to go to the last boss with as much uh, health as possible, basically. Okay, that uh, should be great. Also we have the days, so we are definitely killing it, but let's try to get a crit or two or something. Yeah, our stress is looking good as well. That was it for the fight, and then uh, we are about uh, to face the locks. The loathing festers. Mm. 
Behold, the source of the stain. Of course, we have to equip the items, actually. It only makes sense, right? Oh, do we care about uh, this one? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't. We don't need uh, two of those. So I think the plan is to have Andre with this. And then uh, Dismas and Barrison. I mean, Barrison is definitely getting this, but what about Dismas? I'm not so sure. Maybe we want Dismas with a heal. Why? Because it might be a crit. Yeah, okay, that makes some sense. We would like some crit. If we have the... Uh, I don't remember if uh, the last boss can even uh, burn you, because I mostly play resentment. I think it can. But I'm not sure. Alright, right, so we're ready, right? Let's uh, see our group for run last time. And their quirks and stuff. Close enough. I mean, this thing in combination on uh, mana terms is... Uh, it's not the greatest, right? It's very unusual to have a double uh, damage it thing like this. Denier, chained by its own command. What? Oh, so we get a minus uh, death blow resistant. What is our death blow resistant? Oops. Okay then. So let's make a plan. I think the most important thing is to kill this one first. We definitely leave this for last. Okay. Them, that another may finish the work. What about this? What about it? We probably are killing this second. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. Okay. That's the plan. It's probably a bit too early to use smoke bombs because uh, when the locks die, they buff uh, the remaining ones, right? So we should probably use uh, smoke bombs after the locks are getting buffed. Probably after the first kill, because when it's only two, it's uh, it's getting easier the more uh, locks are dead. Should we use uh, the second call troops right now? Why not? A brilliant conclusion. Okay, so what's the situation with the dot here? It's uh, 10, 11, okay. Because at some point we will know I want uh, to stop uh, using dots on this one. Pretty soon too. Suffering begins. And also we should use our heals b before we like only have two locks left because then there will be a high chance that this one will be blocking our heals and we don't want that. We also don't want the blind but there's nothing we can do about that. We move in front just so we can have uh, the option in the future to do a listen advance. Okay, range lock. Let's heal. Extinguished at last. Yeah, see, they can burn after all. I guess this is a... This is a good turn in order to use the heal. That was our plan anyway, to start using them. 
We should probably save the heal for Barristan as well. I would like, uh, if possible, everyone in the group to survive this fight. I mean, uh, the double stun is not nice here. Okay, maybe we spoke too early about surviving, about everyone surviving. First, uh, we need to make sure we can actually kill the boss, right? I wouldn't really need to do that. Hmm. Okay, let's play like this then. I guess uh, we ki we're killing this one third, probably. Oh yeah, we can't heal right now, and we also are blinded, which is not nice. This one is gonna die, so let's try to... Still, uh, we are in a pretty decent spot. It's not that bad. I mean, all, the, all these suns are bad though, because uh, we would like uh, to use absinthe as well. Don't even get me started here. Six life, huh? Okay. So we will have to heal here. I mean, since this is the one we are trying to kill... Hmm. Now they have more crit and uh, let's see which... Ha which Everyone... Okay, both of those have 20% uh, debuff resist and this one has 40, so it will have to be one of those. And I think it's this one. We will try to heal uh, with her own heal next turn, if we have the opportunity. Okay. Let's defend. We also get uh, block blast tokens, and uh, this was our last turn for the blind. So that's a very nice heal. Appreciate it. Yeah, I guess that was it then. From this point, I think it's very hard to lose, since uh, we stabilized. I mean, also we're not gonna use this. We're gonna start attacking this one as well. And uh, this must and Grave Robber can slowly kill this one on their own. Okay, so next turn this one dies. It dies on its own, right? No, no, it doesn't. Okay.
Yeah, that's not a big deal. Though I guess uh, Barristan is getting very low. Actually, it might be a big deal. Hmm. What we really need is uh, for Dismas to go fast so he can heal us, or even for the Black Doctor. And how are we going to achieve this? Maybe we can try to daze them. I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty slow though. So proud. Yeah, okay, we're, we picked the right one, okay, we were very lucky here. But uh, we actually played for the days, so it's not like uh, it was extreme luck. So the only item we have left. Uh, is uh, the burn salve, right? Yes, okay. I really don't want to defend anyone, but it, uh, maybe we could bolster this one to remove uh, the tokens. Yeah, okay, denial of arms is not a big deal. Uh, Is there a chance to kill it? Let's say we... With a little bit of luck, but we also have blind, so never mind. Okay, now the problem is that we can never heal anymore, so I guess uh, Bison will die. Sooner or later. Yeah, I don't want to defend though. Um, oh, he can hit anywhere, right? Okay, so. So, so, so. Yeah, let's move back. Why not? I mean, we will, we will uh, win for sure, but I would like uh, Bison to stay alive, if possible. Okay. I mean, we're getting pretty lucky since this only has one attack per round. It might uh, never target Barristan in the first place, right? So I think the best uh, option for damage is this one. A breakthrough. Yeah, basically we made it. That's very nice. Yeah. Very nice. The world All right. Remember a time before the cancerous corruption. 
I guess um, for the first time uh, this was a bit easier than expected, if I'm being honest. Uh, especially the nerfs uh, to the Guardian nodes Success made a big difference. Like, uh, especially the first region, like what was that? Let's see how many guns we have. 70. Sounds like a lot, I don't know if it's a lot. I've seen a little uh, of the things uh, that uh, you can upgrade and stuff. But I'm not sure about the cost. Uh, we will probably try to unlock uh, heroes and uh, definitely a stagecoach uh, inventory space and uh, definitely some in items because uh, I don't want uh, to deal uh, with uh, the slime mold. I really hate the slime mold. Uh, about this run we just finished uh, Let's see, who was the best uh, performing hero and who was the worst one? That's a difficult question, I think. I will uh, probably need uh, to sit on it for a bit. But I think uh, the better, the best performer was uh, Dismas, I will, uh, I will say. Yeah, I think the, the most important hero for this run was Dismas. He did a lot of damage and uh, all uh, the dodge helped us as well uh, to not waste uh, main turns, healing and also he did crit a lot so that helped with the stress and uh, I know that uh, I said I'm not uh, the biggest fan of Wanderer Highwayman but this was a pretty good run for him and uh, I guess uh, the worst performing hero was probably I don't know, man. <laughs> it was definitely not Barristan, okay? It was definitely not Barristan and it was probably not uh, the Grave Robber either. No, 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 it was probably not uh, the Black Doctor, I mean. It was probably the Grave Robber, the worst one. But yeah, we will uh, need more of her abilities to really make her sign. She, she does get much better. So, uh, this is it for this uh, first run. Uh, if uh, you stayed around uh, this long, uh, I have to say that I'm shocked, to be honest. But, <laughs> but uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I will... Uh, we will pick up uh, where uh, we left off next time, over here, and uh, we will uh, try to, do s to pick some uh, upgrades and uh, try to kill the second boss. Uh, I don't think we will be able to. I did read that, that they nerfed the lungs a bit, or they changed the fight. But uh, the second one is much harder than the first, so I expect uh, to lose at least once. Unless uh, we get some uh, really good un unlocks uh, from the uh, candles over here, uh, if we are lucky with thin items and stuff and trinkets. But yeah. Thanks a lot uh, for watching and uh, see you guys next time.